Cheers. I can tell that you have played it safe your whole life. So let's get naughty and break a couple rules tonight. Sneak in a movie, no one will ever know. Then run on private property and hold each other close. Beneath the moonlight, I've got a fun idea. Lean and kiss a cheek and jam me with the ring of air. Let's steal a car tonight. Commit a felony with me and drive until the sunrise. Let's steal a motherfucking car tonight. your flowers let's get some coffee look deep in my eyes and tell me about your family we can hold hands then you can watch me shoot cocaine into my eyes and rock a family let's steal some art tonight want to feel picassos when you're on a sexy date eyes let's steal some precious fucking art tonight young and alive Go a little more traditional, go for a walk, watch a movie. Actually, there's a really nice flower exhibit at the Botanical Gardens. Ninja Brian was just telling me about that last week. He loved it. Wait, you know what? Fuck it! Let's kill some guy tonight! We're holding hands and laughing while we shank him in the starlight! Let's take a motherfucking life tonight! We're young and alive! Let's pump the brakes on the murders. Let's kill five guys tonight. I'll take you back to your place and we'll craft a perfect alibi. Man, we had fun tonight. We're young and alive. And you can call me anytime. Good first date. Want to do it again next week? No? Oh, all right.
diamond bridge, it costs more than the country of Peru. Seduction is like a game of chess, and I'm the queen. R. Are we live? Yes, so we are live. Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome to an exciting Saturday stream where today we're going to do a bit of artwork. That's right, we're doing an art day today. As discussed yesterday, I've been kind of getting in the mood to just do some thumbnail shit, whether it's for me or for memes. Who's to say? Who's to know? We will see how the mood strikes. But that's our plan. Today's just going to be cranking out a bunch of thumbnails, showing you my own process, giving you my own design philosophy to making thumbnails. And then if any of y'all end up having people you want me to go ahead and try to make a thumbnail for, we can look at the whole process of making a thumbnail and trying to not too awkwardly offer it to someone for free. But, but, but before we get into all of that, I have a simple question for all of y'all. How have your weeks been? How are your weekend shaping up to be? And most importantly, how are you all doing? So I'm still freaking out over here over my last video that fucking popped off the, the little Dragon's Dogma 2 rant. The views are still going up on it. Comments are still coming in. I'm doing my best to keep responding to them. And I think I got a YouTube comments bingo. Because it was just like an hour ago. We got someone in the comments ranting against the commenters. And I just I just wanted to read off their comment. Because I just... I appreciate finding uh, basically the, the whole wavelength of different opinion responses to be where man what is it with people defending media so fucking hard now it's pathetic yes games and movies have issues just shut up and listen to the critique you don't have to defend the game's honor if you disagree with someone's critique of the game it just it was just a moment where i'm like damn this bro doesn't even have an opinion on my opinion He's just very angry at the comment section. There's something about that I love. There's something that's just so entertaining about that happening. <laughs> Going to the micro center tomorrow. Gonna build a new box? Ooh. I already know some of the, the bits and bobs you're gonna be using, Zelix. You got you got kind of your design in mind. What what you building for? What you going after? I am well. My nerd backpack makes me happy. Fuck yeah, Sour. I'm so glad you were able to get the, uh, the two plushies that you were after. I am also going to the Micro Center tomorrow, but to get my shit fixed, because either it's fucked beyond belief or I'm too dumb to fix it, I would be too dumb to fix it. I can definitely state that. I, I am a firm believer in my own ineptitude. Aw, oh, shit. But not the views have gone up. We've now crossed the 2000 views threshold on that video and i'm scared because if we get i think 100 more views this will be outperforming my top performing short and uh i think at that point i am officially a video game critique youtuber and uh i don't think i'm ready for that i don't think i'm ready to uh to become that but you know it it is what it is <laughs> oh fuck have you gained any subscribers from it? Um, four, I believe. I have gained four subscribers since this started to pop off. So, you know, there's that, that amount, I guess. I used to be a big hardware nerd, but now I can't be arsed. God damn it. I can't be arsed to keep track of that shit anymore i just get my friend a budget and said go nuts hell yeah zelix that's amazing yeah no i did something very similar i remember a long time ago junie was like full-on building her rig and she went to a website and the website had like suggestions and shit of all the parts to buy and fucking there was an option to just ship the parts and you could assemble it yourself or you could pay like 100 bucks or something and someone at their location would assemble all of it for you Oh, fuck. 
I went for the them assemble it option myself. I was like, listen, I have zero competency when it comes to physically manipulating electronics. I'm a I'ma leave that to y'all. I'ma let y'all go absolutely nuts on that. <laughs> oh shit. So as mentioned today, I'm gonna be doing just some sort of thumbnail art haven't really don't really know what i'm going to be starting on for the actual artwork but i wanted to to talk a little bit about the the thumbnails i've done diddly did and um let's see do we have a oh yeah and with that i want to go and kind of actually just scroll on past through my full uh fucking my archive history i guess just take a look at some of this shit like look at what i've done before and try to explain a bit about my own like thumbnail philosophy all right we're starting to hit i think let youtube build it no no we've got a few in here okay we we can still go further i've been streaming i've been streaming for a little bit i guess all right here we go oh shit yeah yep 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 look at that Look at that fucking insanity. So, as y'all know, I have been streaming now for a little over three years at this point. Average lifespan of a tardigrade. I'm sorry, during the next anniversary, I will have to commit seppuku uh, to, to maintain my honor as a tardigrade. So that will be that. That'll be the end. Apologizing ahead of time. Don't worry, we'll set a sub goal for it and all that. I'm sure y'all will, will love that. Yeah, and I fixed the the nice redeem. Some shit got fucked, and I unfucked it. So we did a, I did a good. Hey, and sour. Thank you for the two years, two months, twenty six days, and twenty hours. All right, we're not going to the hours anymore. Listen, I'll read off your days, but I'm not going to hours. Thank you very much for the two years and two months, my guy. And V, thank you for the two years, eleven months, and twenty three days. One week, V. One week, and you're at the fucking three-year mark. Absolutely congratulations, my guy. But, as you can see, I've been doing this for a while. And for all of my old archive shit, it doesn't really have a thumbnail. You know, it's got, I would look through, find a frame that kind of captured a bit of what was going to happen. And I would use that. That was my most basic of, of thumbnail shit. And I did that for a while. We got into the Mass Effect series, and this is when I started intentionally doing thumbnails. Now, it wasn't really me crafting thumbnails. And so what would happen is I would just kind of watch through the stream for a little bit, find a frame that would show off our Commander Shepard's face normally was the goal. Then I would take a screenshot of that, edit up the edges, and just kind of slop that on in as my thumbnail. You can see not all of them would end up with a picture of him, but it was almost always the the what I was searching for sort of frame. Let's see here as we keep going. Hey, and I see one coming up. So we can see here was, uh, this was, I don't know if this was me designing or me actually doing one of my anniversary streams. Some more D&D stuff. Here's the first time I actually did Photoshop to make a thumbnail as you can see absolute meme shit just one of my favorite jokes in mass effect 2 ended up taking the boy who believes himself to be a um what was it a biotic god slapped my little chubby head and a cowboy hat on it there we go we go things still going things still getting crunk all right and i see eventually a little bit of the hard space fuck yeah eventually we got into the persona for golden playthrough and here you can see is where i've actually got a real thumbnail created now it's a very minimal thumbnail but this one would basically establish my default template that i still kind of run as my default up to this point we have the title of the game in the lower left corner, though you can see it's very small. It doesn't actually read super well on the thumbnail. We have me edited in the middle here where the main character would be. We have the part counter over on the top right. Again, kind of small, hard to read. But it was essentially just me getting 
some official art from the game, photoshopping my character over the main character and going. That, I think, is a pretty cliche, traditional style. That's something that happens quite a lot. Though this one I did put in a little extra work to get clean because a lot of these characters were actually oriented slightly differently or were kind of fuzzy when compared to the others. So I ended up having to Google around till I found the individual poses of each of these characters that were used to create like the the actual official artwork and essentially just photoshop those in over top of where they were in the artwork so it'd have a lot cleaner of a look here we have manor lords you can see maintaining this lower left we have the title upper right we have the the part though here is just early uh i think early access or early beta here's my chubby little face this is back still png is what we're using boom pray again artwork i'm here name title here we go is a little bit of a change up where we have the title up here but i think that was just because this is just a full-on rip of some of their official artwork that i just put myself in didn't even bother doing the photoshopping around it here's one where i did a little more effort we still have the same stuff, but you can see I did a lot of color work on the words to try to make them match in a little better. I chose the French maid outfit to match up with the game a little bit better. Here we have Against the Storm. Interestingly, it looks like I didn't include myself in these thumbnails. I just went with the, the basic artwork and title. And we keep on keeping on until we get to Andromeda, which is the first one I did, I think, some seriously intentional work on, where I got my tardigrade head in here, and I made sure the mask would be partially opaque. Oh, yeah, the tardy day. Fuck yeah. God. Oh, fuck. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy, what part? Five, six, seven... Eight, nine, ten. Oh, jeez. No, no, no. But I think it was after doing this that I became interested in doing more and more, like, intense Photoshop stuff. Uh, like, here we can see I just kind of put myself in. King of the Castle was one that I ended up doing a lot of work on. Well, I've had two tardy days at her ass, so maybe that was the first one? I don't remember. That might have been the second one. Yeah, because I didn't do one for my third year. No, that's right. Because my work schedule got absolutely fucked. And then we also went from my work schedule getting fucked up into me going to TwitchCon. So everything got scrambled. I'm sorry about that, y'all. One sec. I wonder if I still have that one. I actually want to see if I can open up the actual file for this. So that was King of the Castle, right? not seeing it here if we go to pictures can i find no last place would be in documents now essentially i had to do some pixel editing on this one for king of the castle uh in order to erase a character that was ov overlapping with me and that took quite a bit of work for me who was an idiot to figure out but after i did that once I was no longer as intimidated with it. Here we have uh, the co-op. I'm so sorry that we ended up stopping this series. Where I got me and Milkblade kind of slapped onto some characters. Outer Wild following the usual style. Then we got into Cube 2. And I remember this one I, I loved doing because I ended up being able to do the different letters, different colors, and you can see the numbers. I had been hoping there'd be at least four or five parts of me playing Cube 2 so I could go through the red, blue, yellow, green coloration on the numbers. Ended up not happening. Here's my very short Baldur's Gate series. Did not make it very far into that, on stream at least. Pokemon Infinite Fusion. Here's Slay the Princess again. You can see a drastic change of style from that very first thumbnail I ever made for it. Here's Vampire the Masquerade, which ended up dropping for a little bit. Death Must Die. So you can see, you know, pretty, pretty simple usage in a lot of this. Just kind of slapping me into places. 
Signalis. And I think, yeah, then we got into Elden Ring, where I decided to get a little fancy. Some of the things I did for the Elden Ring thumbnail included adding in this fire for where my head was, and then using this fire to create a backdrop to make this fiery visual appear on the words and the and the the titling. Basically just kind of stealing existing uh, texture and uh, applying it so that it would be able to go through the image and pop up where the words were, where I think made just a very beautiful appearance. Fuck. Wait, there's actually one in here. Yeah, Monster Prom was another fun little bit of artwork because I had to actually piece by piece erase existing characters to create a blank background for me to use. Luckily, the background was a repeating like wallpaper pattern. So once I got a clean copy of a section of it i could just paste over top of the original characters and addison on top of that but that was something that took a chunk of time for me to get through and here we're, we're pretty much caught up you can see here's noida here's the the thaumaturge where instead of the main guy i decided i want to go in the little monster boy yeah and dragon's dogma this was another fun one. This was one where I experimented with another new effect using the paint smudge tool. A lot of the background of Dragon's Dogma is really smoky, so that allowed me to eliminate a lot of different features that I wanted to either erase or smooth over or put my face over top of by smudging them in with the smoke. That created a really good erasure effect, essentially. But yeah, so that's essentially my full history of doing uh, of doing thumbnails, at least in the the official sense of things. Hey, chaotic, how you doing? And that each like just kind of going through it, I would always end up, you know, trying out just something a little new. Oh, can I erase a character in a background somehow? Can I patchwork over top of things? Can I apply bur blur effects? Can I do different lighting effects? Blah 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 blah. Essentially, three years of baby steps. Don't take as long as I do to learn shit, y'all. Listen, if you want to do stuff, don't take as long as I do to do it. Don't do one baby step every month or so, or it'll take you forever to actually learn any, any semblance of skill or proficiency with a tool you're using. Uh, the fun fact is, that throughout this process, I've also evolved from using MS Paint into using this, GIMP which is honestly an amazing fucking free art tool that has covered basically all of my needs without me having to pay a goddamn dollar for anything. And that is well within my budgetary concerns. <laughs> but recently, just this month, I ended up just wanting to do a lot more thumbnail work, like practice some things, look at some ideas, mess around a bit. And I didn't have like a ton of games that I was doing. I think it was Dragon's Dogma, thinking, making the thumbnail for Dragon's Dogma and my Dragon's Dogma uh, rant video had me fuck around with a few tools. Like I said, it was my first time using the smudge tool. It was my first time making what I would call a meme uh, thumbnail. And so I think it really kind of got me onto like one of those fixations where I just wanted to fuck around with thumbnail effects that started me just kind of messing around a little bit. In that mess around time, I ended up making this meme right here that y'all are seeing that I'm very proud of as I made it for a game I've never played or watched. So I have no understanding at all why this is so funny to people. And I love that. I think I used GIMP for my A-level media studies. Fuck yeah, Chaotic Owl. But even before I was doing this, I ended up just kind of wanting to mess around in uh, the, the, the artwork for uh hollow knight for a collection of reasons as you can see hollow knight's got this really cool lighting effect going on here and i've never really fucked around with trying to simulate lighting shit before the background's smoky which means it's very forgiving and will let you use the smudge tool very aggressively uh while getting away with it visually and kindred had become a mod just recently for me Kindred, some of you might know, very deep in the VTubing space, knows a lot of people. So if you follow them on Twitter, you will get a lot 
of reposts from them or retweets of things other VTubers are up to. And there was a day where I saw a uh, retweet from them about someone called Alex or Ari Alex, uh, the, the Beatle. That is a, a VTuber that I learned. I was not aware of it until I ended up looking at them because of Kindred's retweet. Uh, that their model was actually made by Juni. So I ended up going and looking at their shit and saw that they had their own little custom model for the Hollow Knight plate that they were doing. And it looked so adorable that I ended up just grabbing uh, essentially a snip of them from their stream and just wanted to make a uh, a thumbnail in the style that I normally do. So I just kind of grabbed the, the artwork that they had used for their own official art, uh, dragged in the new head, put it on, looked around, got a PNG of the title, copied the uh, font that they use. No, Twitch, don't shit yourself. Oh, I'm sorry, Sour. <laughs> then I went to work. I went to work using the smudge tool to erase the horns and most of the head of the OG character. I ended up having to look at the coloration they use here and kind of do a bunch of different copy tools because this head was originally all white. So I had to do some copying to get the right sort of shadowing color effect that this red correctly with how the light's coming down. And all in all, I think it came out looking really fucking clean. Oh God, V, don't be mean to sour V. But I ended up having so much kind of fun and making this that I decided to actually reach out to the person. Initially, I thought of responding to their going live tweet with this image of just being like, hey, look what I made. And then it occurred to me, this is entirely their own artwork <laughs> that I was fucking around with. So instead, I chose to DM them instead of just like replying to a tweet, you know, and say, hey, I was just kind of practicing some thumbnail art tools. I ended up making this. If you'd like, I could just pump out a quick parts one through 10 for you. I just wanted to get your... Let, I just wanted to know if that was chill with you, if there's any problem with me having done that. And I said, no problem at all. In fact, they uh, they put it onto their YouTube. And not only that, but just recently. So here's Alex's YouTube, if any of y'all are interested. Go check out the Beetle Goral. She has a beautiful model made by Junie. She does a few different series. But as you can see... Hollow Knight's not the only one here that appears to have some sort of official thumbnail work for. Also, her recent series on Bug Snacks, which... Yay! I, I actually did myself as well. Uh, this was something I wanted to fuck around with because it let me challenge myself on something a little different. I didn't know a good way to capture bug snacks. I've never played bug snacks. I've seen some people play for an hour or so. I don't quite get it. Because of that, I don't inherently know what I want to make the thumbnail focus on for something like this. Eric's just a freelance thumbnail artist now. Essentially, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, no, I do love it. It's very adorable. Uh... But there were, there was, so there was that element of trying to figure out something that could be good for a game I wasn't really overly familiar with. Like some way for me to make thumbnails ahead of time for games I'm planning on playing or anything I'm not super clear on. And I ended up learning that there's a little bit of like transformation shit going on. This is the same character. So I decided having a good split screen thumbnail would be great. So you can see we have one environment here, one environment there. A little bit of blending here, but still somewhat of a line to kind of show the difference between left and right. PNG, we've got this up here, the, the numberings and all in a way to kind of copy the PNG you know, or the, of, the, of the title. But I ran into a problem. Because you see, for all the different characters in the game... You can't really get them all in any of the same qualities. You can try to grab them as captures from the game itself, but then they're going to come out very fuzzy, blurry looking, unfocused. You can grab them as like essentially PNGs of the 3D model, but then their size 
and how they look compared to each other is always going to be drastically different. And one of the effects I really wanted to capture was doing what I would call a, a reactive uh, PNG. Essentially something where, because there's this transformation, you could show a character's before and after. But to do that, you would have to capture that from that streamer's game specifically. You know, react to the content of the video. Reactive. And because of that, I needed some way to move any image of a character I had quality-wise closer together. They don't need to be of perfect quality. What they need to do is mesh together. And what I found was there is a filter artistic oilify. There's this oil effect that makes things look like an oil painting that you can apply to images. Let's go ahead and zoom in on Alex. It's your filter, artistic, oilify. And let's see. Was that not? I don't think that's applying. One second. So click, click, cancel. Probably just can't apply there. All right. Filter, artistic. Oh, I see what's happening. Yeah, I've got a highlight going on over here. Where's filter, filter, there we go. Oilify. As you can see, it tries to make it look like an oil painting. There's a bunch of settings you can fuck around with to increase or decrease like the number of like oil painting strokes on it or whatnot to increase or decrease like the the level of the the exponent or intensity stuff but i found that if i did that oil effect to the the character models and i maxed out their intensities but reduced their applied radius down to minimum they would get this very intentional like artsy blur to them Something that's, like, not perfectly in focus, but has a serious, like, intentionality look to it. That would let the different character models exist next to each other, where they were all of different levels of quality. But all now look to be much more uniform. That I think created a really good effect for the thumbnail. So that's definitely something I now know I can use in the future if I'm needing to grab different objects images characters just pictures from a game that are all going to be coming in at different qualities but there are different filter tools that i could do to try to just push them in each other's direction to get a unified quality across them so everything looks like it belongs together you know and i guess i guess alex ended up liking this as well that's why they used it on uh those thumbnails too and that was really cool but I've been working on prepping some stuff for the future. A game that's coming out in July, though there's some people with early access shit to it, is the second Frostpunk game. And this is the thumbnail I've spent the most time editing, working on, and creating this style that I've got here. Y'all don't even want to know how many different versions of this I ended up going through before I decided on this one. But I think this is one of my best ever looking thumbnails. I think... I think it, like, sticks out aggressively from what I've seen people doing for Frostpunk thumbnails. So I think this should be pretty eye-catching. It's very clean with how big I've made the words, both for the part and the, the title. I think this is going to be super legible at a thumbnail scale. And I don't know, I'm, I'm really happy how this one came out. This took a few different effects. There's some smudging going on. As you can see, there's the, the two screen sides. There's also... A lot of different layers of the same objects going over each other to create some of this fading blurry light sort of out of focus effect that I think is just gorgeous here. Additionally, after doing the uh, two screen effect for bug snacks that I did for Alex, uh, one game I know that's coming up that I'm very much going to be jumping into and I think it's coming out next week is manor lords and for that game a big effect is it's you know it's a medieval city builder sort of thing so being able to look at how an area started and how it's going now essentially this is just me ahead of time trying out some shit uh, it won't be just this thumbnail it'll be 
the area I build my village in and the current state of the town, you know, so you can see the transformation that has occurred. This is my first time, I think, of actually making what I'd call a reactive thumbnail. So I'm very excited to see how this ends up looking. But I think for a template, I think this came out looking really, really good. And I'm really happy with it. And it copies a lot from anybody who was there for my first time when I played like the very, very early beta shit for Mana Lords, where we had my PNG wearing a chaperone. And we've got one here as well. And I'm super hyped for it. And as also mentioned, right now we've got my uh, rant video kind of popping off a little bit. And this is uh, what I would call the meme thumbnail I made for it. This is a thumbnail that is a very different style than I normally do. It's very much a meme as opposed to this more, almost as I've described it before, corporate style. I don't know if that's actually the right terminology to be using here, but it's very much how I see it in my head. Well, that's actually what I want to talk about uh, essentially first today. I want to I wanna tell you all a little bit about, as I've been going through this process, almost my idea of thumbnails that slowly developed for me and that's essentially this uh yeah would be almost this this access that i've 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 gotten my head and y'all might have different words for this but i think it's something you'd be able to observe if you just look through how thumbnails appear right now and that is this two access thing between corporate meme uh reactive and i think it's iterative no words stop not the background the words there we go so this is kind of my my four axes of the uh I guess it's my two axes of thumbnail and the way I sort of think of them. Uh, and to really just quickly cover this, corporate versus meme. This is very much the looks like a very clean, professionally done, intentional, like, looks very corporate. This looks like it could be, you know, artwork of the game, essentially, is is all that it is. Whereas meme is... Very clearly, something that is made just to be funny, it is meant to be eye-catching, but it's no element of it is meant to look maybe professional, I guess? No, nah, it's not quite the right word. Essentially, it's more so aiming in this direction of visually striking, I guess, as opposed to visually appealing. So that's where you have kind of the corporate versus meme axes that I think about. And then the other is reactive versus iterative. Like I said, for the Bug Snacks one I was making and for Manor Lords, I'm imagining these of being very reactive. Where in Manor Lords, this background image will change for each stream. For Bug Snacks, the character you're showing changes between each stream. Whereas a very iterative one would be what I did for this Hollow Knight, where there's not even like a change in this words like layout or anything. So you get to just change this number and it iterates from parts one through ten basically instantly so that's where you would see reactive to iterative now obviously i like to build on a very corporate iterative style being able to do very few changes to pump out a bunch of thumbnails for for a long series of games i'm playing is very cool and fun and good for me it it helps me relax my brain quite a bit. But even here, there's elements here that are not as iterative as you would imagine. And that's just something to, to keep in mind. For example, as you can see, there's this drop-down shadow effect I have on the, the part section. So anytime I'm wanting to change this number, I'm having to do more than one quick change. There's a couple of different changes I have to do to make sure I fully capture that. Uh, same over here where there's different drop-down shadows. Since here is no drop-down shadow, it's just the word, it's more iterative. But still, I would consider both of these to be highly iterative. As opposed to reactive. 
This is a very reactive thumbnail. This is not a thumbnail I can just iterate on and use for more Dragon's Dogma discussion videos, because it was made almost exclusively for this rant. This is something that is very not iterative. Now, there's obviously some iterative elements of it. My character model, easily iterative. Uh, the Dragon's Dogma title, basically using it or this positioning is something I could use for if I was to make a series of Dragon's Dogma critiques or compliments or whatever the fuck is something I could just use between all the thumbnails. Bright red text over here, just change what the text hey, says, you know. But there's a lot of this that is just reactive that I would have to change between each rant. And then thank you for the 35 months, Sour. How you doing? Saw you were here on one of your goths. What brings you around to the real account? Just realizing you get to ping me? Tell me you've been here for so fucking long. Wait, that's one month short of 36. But by 12 is three. You're almost at three years on your main account, ain't you, Sour? Sour. Sour, do the nice redeem. How long were you following where you didn't sub? Give yourself away, Sour. <laughs> Reveal the truth. Ah. I want to play a game, so now I'm on my computer. Hell yeah, Sour. Fuck yeah, play your game. Two years, 11 months, and 23 days. Hell yeah, Sour. And because of that, I think you're really fucking close between your, uh, yeah, that's the same number of months. So you're, you're within days between your follow and your sub start. Hell yeah, Sour. I really fucking appreciate that. Ugh. But yeah, so that's just sort of what I think of in my head when I'm making thumbnails, you know? Is, do I want this to be more iterative versus more reactive? More corporate versus more meme? And then what do I need to sort of fulfill that style? Essentially, I like to build... Here. I like, uh, I like existing in the corporate and iterative style as that allows me to really quickly pump out a series of thumbnails that all look decent and clean and are really really good for being in like a playlist essentially like a list of here's my full through playthrough parts one through 30 you can tell all of these thumbnails are from the same series and you can quickly see which part of the series it's from because i generally am doing full playthroughs of games that's really 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 solid for me the other good place to be is like i did for my rant was highly reactive and highly meme so that's kind of on the other side of things this is good for very individual thumbnails obviously because then your individual thumbnail you want it to be reacting to the content of that specific video more so than you want from necessarily a playthrough and i found doing a meme one was kind of fun to do but you could probably do a very iterative meme style. I think if you're doing something that's that's meme -y, reactive is almost always going to be better. These are the two quadrants that I think make the most sense. I'm now starting to explore a little bit of this space. With the, the Manor Lords and the Bug Snacks. I'm starting to explore a little bit of this reactive corporate look. Being able to to react with each of the cut, like each of the, the thumbnails matching that particular video. I'll see if that ends up being a good style or something I have a lot of fun with. I just know these two tend to be where I live for everything I'm building. So we'll see if this will work. What I don't know how it would look would be an iterative mimetic style, I guess. How do you create a meme image, a meme thumbnail that is highly iterative? Basically something you can do very few changes and works as a consistent meme across a bunch of different videos like from the same game. I don't know. I don't know if that's something that's that's really super achievable, honestly. This quadrant is a big question mark for me. I don't know if there's a solid area that exists here. That's just sort of what I think, you know? And that's me. I'm Eric. I make thumbnails now, I guess. And I have a lot of fun doing them.
And that is why I got a question for y'all. Is there a game you want me to make a thumbnail for? Today, I want to do some art. I want to make some thumbnails. And there's kind of two areas I want to do. And that is essentially here or here. Essentially, I want to either make a thumbnail for someone. And what that would mean is if any of y'all have some smaller streamers or content creators you know of that you would love to see me make a thumbnail and go through the process of saying, ooh woo, one of my viewers is a fan of yours and wanted me to make a thumbnail for you. That's something we could do. The other thing is if y'all have a game, you want to see me try to make a meme thumbnail for with zero understanding of how the game works, what it's about, what the mechanics are like, or any of the story. That is something else I'm very, I'm very down to do. All right, Tower, what is this? Raw Metal. Is that a streamer or a game? Raw Metal. Okay, looks like we got a game. I am seeing some really basic artwork for this. We'll do Raw Metal Game. All right, seeing some images. See it's on Steam. See it's a game. Is it someone who plays raw metal you would like me to make a thumbnail for? Or try to make a meme based on my absolute lack of knowledge on raw metal? What do you want to see, Sour? You want to see me just kind of struggle my way through it? Make a meme? All right. Well, then, we're going to need to pull in some images. We're going to start building up our meme idea. All right. Nobody explain to me in any serious detail how how raw metal works. We need we need no starting info here. But let's here. Let's go ahead add our alpha, delete the background. Ah. Get out of here. Okay. Put this to new layer. This is our first reference image. Let's scale it down a bit so we can kind of collage with these. Basically cut it in half. So it looks like we've got some top-down mechanics. We've got a lot of brown. There seems to be shooting. I'm seeing a few different characters. Let's see here. I think I've got... This looks like official artwork. Put to new layer. So it looks like I'm seeing some stealth. So a lot of around the corner shooting. This brown and yellow seems to be our our constant theme here. Is that top down or Metroid? Oh, is this? It looks top down or at least isometric. Because this character is not like standing on the floor here. You see they're standing in front of these computers. So that is the floor. So yeah, it looks top down. What else do we got? All right, here's another image to try to build up a little bit of some idea. Here's a new layer. Let's scale this down by half. Let's see, so we've got different boots, are made with soft flexible material, reducing noise from walking and running, deflection plates, mechanic gear. All right. Looks like we've got some sort of top-down scoot and shoot sort of game. We'll see if there's anything else we can really capture. Wait, I'm seeing some images that don't look top-down now, though. Hold on. Let's scale this down by half as well. Just sort of take a look. Yeah, because that's not top-down at all. That's what, third person it appears to be? So what am I dealing with here? Hold on. Hmm. Is 
it's top down and also not now hold on sarah don't don't give anything away remember we're trying to make a meme with no understanding we are trying to make what i call a useless thumbnail a thumbnail that cannot actually be used for anything because it has clearly no understanding of the game Interesting. I'm a little baffled just by looking at this, you know? Oh shit, Zelix! Thank you for the three years, three months, and 27 days, my guy. Congratulations for showing off to all these bitches under three years hanging out here. You're doing amazing, Zelix. I really appreciate seeing you whenever you come in and hang out for a bit. Mm. All right. All right, one second. Gonna pop onto YouTube real quick, and we're just gonna look up raw metal and just see what thumbnails we're seeing. Because remember, an important part of a thumbnail is being able to stand out. So what do we got? All right. So we've got just the artwork. Okay. Something that also has like just a simple artwork look. Got something that's stylized, but it's the soundtrack. Story breakdown. Looks like, again, this is just some basic existing artwork with the words over top of it. And we have gameplay image right here. So something a little more stylized could be good. Here we're seeing elements of characters working together, probably against specific enemies. Or is this a guy that's cornered? Either way, all right, here's my idea. So my idea is essentially, what is it? Uh, a standoff sequence. Listen, I have no clue if this game is co-op or competitive or whatever, but what I want almost functionally, let's see. One second. Where are we? There we go. Yep. What I want... Scale this down a little bit. Is essentially the Spider-Man meme. You see, we've got a lot of characters here that are all very similar visually. This seems to be our main character. They seem to be dealing with these robotic characters. But I'm also seeing this image here that seems to be like either a unique skin... Or piece of equipment you can have. So what could be fun is to essentially have an image of three of the same guy, each with a different piece of equipment in hand, facing towards each other, you know? So here, I'm going to scroll a little bit through the, the existing images for this game and see what we got. Okay, so I look up raw metal weapons. All right. Okay, got some images I can use, but I'm still looking for a little bit more if possible. I do love this pickaxe I'm seeing, but I'm only seeing what appears to be the enemy unit carrying it. I would love it if I could get one image of the dude in the hard hat carrying it.
All right. Okay. I see two of the major images I definitely want to use. All right. I think I see three now. Cool. Got it. We are gathering our images now. All right. Let's go ahead. Delete all this. Gonna clean this up now that we know kind of what we're looking at, what we're hoping to do. Now gather up the pieces I want to use. See here, we have an image that looks very, very good for you know that standoff uh, creation I wanna I wanna make. Counterweight here. Boop, aims at this dude, this dude's aiming then at this dude here. I would love it if we could make it someone... Instinctually, that looks like it could be good. We're so close. We're so close to finding the image I want to use. All right. Grab this for now, because this is at least the right angle I want. New layer. All right, there we go. So we have our trio facing off against each other. I would like to replace this with a pickaxe I'm seeing, though. So we're going to go raw metal game pickaxe. See if we can't get some version of this that we could easily Photoshop into their hands instead of just that bar. I feel like that'll just add some serious texture to it. If it's something that would be possible. No promises, no guarantees. <sighs> All right, this is almost the right angle, so we might be able to do this. Hold on. Almost the right angle, clearly not the right size, but that's fine. All right, so that's going to be our starting uh, job. Our starting job is to see if we can add these two pieces together to create one singular image it's going to shrink you down you we're taking out everything we got to take out anything that is in this character to make this nice and clean okay a lot of quick deletes elements we don't need the more we could take out the easier this gets okay I think that's about the best we could do with big chunks. Let's get it on in here. With this antenna, we need to go pretty fucking small. Okay. So we're going to come in with our own little eraser here and follow the edge of this antenna. It's already small, narrow. It doesn't give us a lot of room to safely erase without erasing the wrong stuff. So we're going to have to give it a lot of leeway as we're doing this erasure. We might even have to get really small once we get down here. Yeah. Let's go ahead and shrink this down to one pixel just to allow us really get into the crevice here. Beautiful. We should be able to go back up to 10, I believe. Back that up just a little away from the antenna, just so no point do we have to get any closer to it. Beautiful. Let's go ahead, follow the outline with our 10. I don't think any other edge of this character should require anything smaller than a 10, but we will adjust if we see one. 
Now, there are some tools you can occasionally use instead of actually outlining a character. Over here, we have our little magic wand. This is something you can set some thresholds for. The lower the threshold, the smaller the area it'll capture. It'll try to just capture stuff with the same color. The bigger, the bigger, essentially. Now, this can sometimes be very useful if you have something on a solid color black background, like black or green screen, can let you do a lot of easy erasing. However, if things are getting like close on the edge of colors, what can happen sometimes is it'll leave scraps behind or it'll delete internal portions of an object, which isn't great. Because we have so much brown on brown here, I'm going to stick with just the erasure tool, just because I don't think we're going to be able to get a very good magic wand capture that isn't going to start erasing internal pieces of this character. So we're going to have to do it, unfortunately, the hard way. The, the pixel counting way, essentially. Ah, shit. All right, with this, we're definitely going to have to get smaller to take out the uh, inside. And I think this finger, yeah, we're going to have to get smaller here. Yeah, no! Go back where you were. Holy shit, what is happening? Well, that sucks. This doesn't look right at all. Oh, that's going to bug me. I don't even know what happened. The style is just now different over here. Ugh, gross. Yeah, going to need smaller than five. We'll go all the way down to two. Should allow us to get into here and here. Beautiful. Then we can go back up to ten and keep following the edges. And double back a little bit, just give us some more work room. Maybe we can come back with the with the magic wand once we create the separate yeah. Once we create the separation. go and i'm gonna do a little bit more than we're gonna zoom out because i hate not knowing how far i've come i gotta keep checking i gotta keep looking back at how far things have progressed i'm actually gonna go back a little bit that yellow got a little too opaque just want to be a little safer around the edge of that yellow don't want to eliminate the glow of a light you know Hell yeah. Almost off the end of this baton. How are y'all doing? There we go. I do wonder, Sour, so you requested for us to make something for this game. You've been enjoying this game? I know you asked if I would check it out a while ago i think it was a little bit before i started playing dragon's dogma is that correct i remember you asking about it and us taking like a very short look at it 
But obviously, you start a dragon's dogma. I've had this little art kick myself, plus playing a little bit of ROR for the first time. Ended up not really looking into this, but very fun in my opinion. Hell yeah, Sour. Can I ask, what do you think of this idea of a thumbnail for this game being three characters in a standoff? Is that something I'm getting that is matching the vibe of the game at all? Or is clearly has no fucking clue what's going on? Nothing else. This should be something that stands the fuck out. Ah, shit. On the list of thumbnails. All right. Looks like we've gotten all of that, and that should be a straight line. So we'll see now if our magic wand tool can grab all of that. I'm going to go here, boost threshold by a lot. A little less, I think. A little less. Now, is that trying to erase the... Oh, God. It's trying to erase everything. Wait. Fuck me. I guess that's super far off from some situations that can happen in-game. Fucking hell yeah. I'm so good at this. All right, are we seeing hand looks fine? All that looks fine. Beautiful. We're going to go in, clean up some of these bits. These little bits. We can boost that size quite a bit. That looks good. That looks good. We got to take out this. Beautiful. All right. Now we're going to go back to 10. Let's start on the second half of this erasing around the edges portion. Welcome to a majority of Photoshop, and y'all, is cutting shit out cleanly and beautifully in a way that you could actually functionally use it for other shit. Doing very minor color or cutout adjustments is definitely the thing that is the most time-consuming for me whenever it comes to any of this editing work. Oh, Lord. Ah, oh, jeez. But no, I made a mistake at work this week. Uh, uh, there was somebody on a work call who at the... It was like before the work call had officially started, but people were starting to trickle in. I was talking about some issues they were having, trying to get some video stuff to work, you know? And they started talking about OBS, and I was like, oh, I know some stuff about OBS. Here's some fixes you could do for that issue you're having. And they're like, oh, thanks. Hey, since you know about OBS, do you, do you stream? <laughs> and I was like, oh, no. Oh, shit. Oops. Big oops. Biggest possible oops. And so I end up just kind of telling them that I do a little bit of weekend streaming and that sort of stuff. And I asked, and I gave them, I gave them my name on Twitch. And they're looking around and they're like, oh, are you a uh, PNG tuber? And I'm like, oh, fuck, if they know the terminology of, they didn't ask me if I was a VTuber, which, you know, clearly I am. They asked me if I was a PNG tuber. Now. That, that's an interesting wrong question to ask because you have to know a lot about VTubing to know the term PNG tubing. That's not, that's not a term you learn early on into the learning about the VTubing community sort of thing, you know? That's a, that's a distinction that does not crop up in the 101 course. However, looking at my channel, which I've now replaced, I think, all of my... Uh, shit like on my twitch with my with my actual vtube model instead of the the png so what i think that means is this is somebody who is a fan of people with some high quality or like 3d like fully 3d models and so they see the higher quality or the the 3d shit as the the vtubes and anything that isn't 3D as a PNG tuber, which is 
interesting that's an interesting preference or like an interesting like bit of uh what assumption for someone to to kind of reveal you know now i know i can't talk about work on streams as much <laughs> get this a little bit smaller actually it's feeling a little too big all of a sudden I need any of that. No, we can just follow the line here. There we go. The answer is always no. I'm just good at Googling for a friend who's a dumbass. Ah, geez. <laughs> Maybe they're watching now. I doubt they're watching now. That's that's gonna be my my bet. No, we'll see. Listen, y'all, it's not like I'm Junie, you know? I'm not someone that if you, like, look me up, you get absolutely floored by the, the numbers or info you see. I am very much a weekend warrior when it comes to streaming. And while I'm very happy with my one little rant video apparently popping off, that is, that is not exactly a claim to fame. Wah! God, imagine if I was bigger. Because that'd be a problem. Because then I would have, like, sales for my fucking dildo on here. Oh, you're, uh, you're, uh, one of them VTuber... You selling cocks? Uh, uh, the, the chat did it. It's not my fault. They wanted it. I swear. I'm not the weird one here. It's all them. They are the criminals. They are the ones who are looking for. How are we doing? God! There's so much. There's so much. Yeah, damn. Yeah. What's interesting is definitely how much VTubing has become just sort of one of the ways people streams at this point. I remember fucking COVID hitting and everyone being so flummoxed and confused and amazed by the idea of VTubing that it fucking exploded just all of a sudden, you know? Like, there had been people like Miku and, and others that are not even like that scale but you know there had been vtubers for a little while but it was right when covid happened like everyone suddenly was like oh shit that's the shit and everyone was either making or following or getting into that vtube community and now it's very much very much just one of the types of streamers you know and that's cool and fascinating and weird it's weird i'm sorry y'all This fucking niche has been normalized. I remember a fucking decade ago where nobody, nobody openly watched fucking anime. And now, now it's the cool shit. Insanity. Insanity, the rate of cultural change. Blame the goddamn internet. Do you think that's that's actually an interesting idea? Is there a point of cultural change? Because there's there's two ways you could take this. If culture changes like more rapidly nowadays than it used to, does that mean that like generations become quote unquote like old and uncool faster because things shift away from them quicker? Or do you get more experience adapting to a changing cultural identity essentially? Like if you grow up now. You're having to adjust very, very quickly, many times, to a change in culture that you wouldn't have had to before. If you become more proficient at changing uh, culture, essentially, like changing the, the popular culture, and therefore it becomes 
easier to remain cool just for sense of having more experience of adjusting to the current mainstream, you know? I could see this going both ways, and I don't know which one it would end up being. See, I get to live in the very fun realm where I'm right on the edge between... A dragon uh, would never explode. Millennial But a dino zoomer. might. Dragon would never explode, but a dino might. God damn it. Fuck you, voice chat. You read dino as dino. <laughs> Asshole. How you doing, Ratchet? Glad to see you're here. We just doing some artwork, so if you're wanting to absolutely take over with your jokes, you have much more power here than during, like, a game stream. But I don't think I've checked in with you. I think we've gotten a couple of, like, one-offs and then you've had to disappear before. What you been up to, Ratchet? How's life been? How's work been? You have my very divided attention. Dino. Dynamite! Alright, there we go. Uh, I'm definitely doing a lot of nostalgia feeding lately, though. Uh, me and my friends have been watching a lot of, like, movies that I would call, like, older movies is kind of the vibe we're going for, though where that line for older is is very different. We recently watched American Pie uh, and Scanners were a couple of different movies we ended up watching. Very, very different era. Both of them just, like, considered older movie you know and it has been very interesting kind of feeling out those those different forms of nostalgia vibe you know that all looks good so that just leaves this area let's shrink this back down we're gonna go seven i think yeah seven gets us into those corners Yes, I know it's the whale. How you doing, son? Hey, son, you're here pretty early today. Normally you're not on for, what, another half an hour or so? Something going on, son? Jean Wang de Richang Seng Ku? Ratchet, I'm gonna need help on this. What the fuck? The daily life of the immortal king. Nah? All right. Well, how's your day been, son? I know you popped on a little later yesterday, so didn't get a good chance to catch in. Having a good week, my guy? Good weekend? Anything hype going on? We memeing out here. We're taking so long to do a meme. Alright, here we go. No! As we come down... We're going to go back up to give us a little more space so that we can grow this without having to be worried about edge work. Alright. Let's blow this up. Beautiful. Alright, now it's time for real trick. Okay. We just want pickaxe. So we can shrink this down. Ah! Unfortunately, there's a little bit of overlap here, but we might be able to, to simulate this without issue. Go to new layer. We can get rid of that. All right, all right, all right, all right. Um, with this brown coloration, we might be able to magic wand this. Ooh, almost, almost. All right. Increase threshold. We're so close. I just need to get this corner without getting the background. I think two more. Fuck. All right, some of the backgrounds here. But that'll be fine. Uh, we can work with that. All right, uh, selection. We're going to go ahead and invert. And I would like to just hit the delete button, but unfortunately, like the light and some other things are being captured here. We're just going to go large size eraser. Just gonna get right around the pickaxe. Give ourselves tons of space. Beautiful. All right, that gives us a majority of what we need. We'll start narrowing this down now. Let's 
Beautiful. All right, select, invert. And we're just going to use that edge to erase here. Okay, can't really do it up there, but we can a little bit of this cleaned up. Take out anything that's just absolutely far away. Nice and clean. All right. Then we'll try to grab here. One, two. One, two. Just want to get, if we can grab that edge right there. More. Beautiful. All right. Select, invert, race. That should be nice and clean. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. I'm going to cut there. So all we need is the pickaxe head. Oh, gross. We have a little bit of weirdness going on here, so we'll shrink in. Just clean up some of those edges. Any bit of smoothing. Okay, nice. All right. Imagine One Punch Man in a magic world, but he tries to fly under the radar. Hell yeah. Sun is replaying Elden Ring. Fuck yeah. You just setting yourself up for the DLC or are you doing any sort of uh, challenge mode right now? It's going to transform. We're going to do rotation. All right. And I think I'll try to slot this about there means we can shoot did that not did i not save the layer layer transform rotate Okay, there we go. And that should be cool. We can move this. We're getting a little bit of smudginess here. And then let's cut off some more of this pipe work. Bring that down. And let's move this layer behind this to get more of a. There we go. Hell yeah. All right, that's slotting in pretty nice. Let me take that about there. Well, we need the light sort of in alignment, don't we? There we go. Okay. Now we get an eraser, clean up some of that edge work. Boom! Hey, there we go. Then we can just merge down. That merges those two layers together. And voila! We now have a bar with a pickaxe! All right. We got one of our boyos then. And we might have to scale this dude down. In fact, I'm imagining we will. But for now, we're going to leave him right there. Yeah, we might even have to give him a bit of a minor outline. But we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that when we need it. For now, send you away. We'll move on to second dude. Hey, second dude, are you willing to not suck ass? Are you willing to let me... Do some magic erasure. <gasps> I think he is. Hold up. Wait, we've got 
those green dots, did those connect to something? Background object. Okay. So we can erase those. Not be losing anything from the object. Hell yeah. All right. Up our size to 20. Oh, fuck. We lost the fist. We lost a part of the fist. All right. Can we reduce this? Oh, this might not be perfect. I thought it was going to be perfect. All right, there we go. Uh, this is not going to take everything, unfortunately, though, now. Okay. Relatively easy fix. Relatively easy. All right. It's required a little bit more precision clicking. Also might require me to do, yeah, just a tiny bit of edge cleanup around that fist. The elements that caused the bleed over. Beautiful. Ah, no. Ah, shit, no. All right, layer, let's just crop the content, make sure all that seems to be okay. But we've got something going on here. What's going on here? Layer crop to content. There we go. You're looking good. How are you doing? What else? Ah, I see. I see. Fun. All right. Last one. This one I don't think is going to work cleanly. Hey, Cosmicception. How you doing? It's been a little bit, I think, since I've seen you here. What you been up to, Cosmic? It's been a little bit since I've streamed, I'm now realizing as well. Yeah, I didn't stream midweek this last week because of work shit. Not just work shit, though. I don't know what is happening uh, around me locally, but I think all of the trees are what's the word i'm looking for coming uncontrollably like there is so much pollen in the air right now and i have been just absolutely uncontrollably congested for so fucking long yeah, no, that's, that's never going to get me a clean edge here. We're going to have to undo all of this. And no matter what, we were going to have to hit up that light anyway, so. Yep, we'll just pull this in. We'll have to do the edge work ourselves. Fuck! I hate when I have to do the edge work myself. But we're going to have to have a nice, long erase process again. God damn it, Sour. You had to choose something with such a muddy art style. But I can't do any of these precision magic wand grabs that would make this job easy. No, no, Sour needs it to be rough. I'm very good. Been playing through Doom Eternal again. Fucking rip and tear, my guy. Trees over here are crazy, too. Had a small storm come in, so I had to visit the junkyard today. Ah, uh, trees breaking and such. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, by the by, I just realized something we could be doing. I'm gonna look at turning on song request, y'all. So that y'all can have a little bit of fun with me. There you go. Song request is on. I'm going to assume it was Milk that requested the Bionicle however long ago. So y'all got to deal with this. Anyone not familiar? You can do a song request by typing in exclamation SR 
followed by a link to a YouTube video, essentially. You can request technically whatever you want, as long as it falls within a certain time frame. However, if you are consistently suck ass about it, I will find ways to punish you. Additionally, if you do anything that is adult and material, the system will automatically pause the video before playing it, meaning the just automatic playthrough will stop and we'll have no music for several minutes until I realize what's happening, go over, remove the song, and then start the next one. The system is not robust or intelligent, but by God, it's easy to work with. Yeah. Would someone be willing to do a song request so that uh, Cosmic Exception can see how the process works? Sorry, I'm doing some erasing because Sour wanted to be mean. So let's back it up. Oh, God. So that might work, uh, Cosmic. I wouldn't recommend doing it that way. If you have a specific video you want, I recommend just getting the, um, getting the actual, uh, web address and pasting that in instead, as the system can automatically grab the wrong video if it's just looking for a title, okay? I just want to give you a heads up on that. That might be exactly what you were looking for. If so, fucking hell yeah. But just as a note of caution. I think, do we just, yeah, just straight edge off the corner. Gonna hit it again to give us extra room. There we go. And we're good on. Oh, God. Damn it, Sour, you son of a bitch. God damn it. This meme better get me infinite views, Sour. Everyone better be talking about this game afterwards. And fucking how hilarious I am. So not gonna be worth it. Let's, let's back all this out of these nooks and crannies, just so we don't have to worry anymore. Oh, yeah, that's perfect, Cosmic Exception. Oh, fucking hell yeah, rock out. What are you doing, Cosmic Exception? To catch you up, basically, we're just doing memes and thumbnails right now. If you end up having a game, you would like me to make a thumbnail having no clue what the game is about. You can go ahead and request a game once we get through this one. Or if there are any small streamers or content creators, you would like me to take a hand at crafting a thumbnail for them that I will send to them afterwards and say they are free to use. You can go ahead and share a name with me and I can go ahead and look them up once we're through this particular thumbnail and see if I'd like to make a thumbnail for them. We are performing free labor is the core of today's uh, stream, I suppose. We're going to back this up. The red laser is going to be a little weird because we don't have exactly a precise line we can follow. I might have to be zoomed a little further out for this. My way. Let me give it to me. Yeah. Is this Seether? I fucking love this. More than I can take, and something's gotta break out of my head. I don't know. Is this like an old request I did? Is that what's happening right now? I have no clue. All right, yeah, let's just draw a line here. I'm going to have to come back and hit the laser later, I think. It's just going to be a weird bit. I'm going to do some specific editing, I think, to capture this laser well. So we're just going to give ourselves a lot of room, I think. 
Take. Okay, I looks like that captured that section. Just erase all this crap. Beautiful. All right, then we'll do the same on the top edge of this. Hell yeah. Oh no, Cosmic Exception. Do you have any small streamers you'd like to see me make a thumbnail for? Or any games you think it's funny to watch someone try to make a thumbnail when they have no fucking clue what the game's about? Both of these are acceptable emotions to have. Here today. Alright. Uh, and then, you know, I'm gonna just draw a line straight up just so I can grab this whole chunk over here and toss it. Oh, yeah. All right. Looks good. Looks solid. So we're going to have to go down to our 10 and go all around the rest of the body. Then we'll come back and deal with the laser after that. Through the land. Ah, here's Ocean Man. Yeah, that is what you'd asked for. All right. Yeah, giving us the SpongeBob vibe. Here we go. Down to there, I think is as close as I'm going to get to that laser. Ah. Beautiful. I don't have any ideas. Small brain. Understandable. Don't you worry. We're already working on something. We'll see how people are feeling afterwards. And if worse comes to worse and nobody really knows, I might just pull up the fucking VTuber tag. Go see who's live right now. And see if we have anybody who has a uh, YouTube channel and a Twitter account that is live right now that we can just fucking stealth assassinate with a thumbnail and be like, hey, I made this for you. Who are you people? Don't worry about that right now. Have a free thumbnail. Then I disappear into the darkness. Ocean man. This is gorgeous. Hey, cause of exception. Have you seen anything from the uh, SpongeBob musical? Like any of the live performance stuff? Because if you're if you're into any of the SpongeBob music, I highly recommend looking up the the live performances of the SpongeBob musical and checking it out. They definitely captured a lot of the Spongebob vibes super well. Eesh. Did not get that edge work very well. I've seen Shrek musical. Didn't even know there was a Spongebob musical. Cosmic exception. Cosmic... Hold on. No, no, no. No. Cosmic? No. Don't look anything up right now. No. You're not allowed to look anything up. One second. Spongebob. One second. Spongebob. Musical. Let's see your Squidward. Let's see if I can find Squidward's full song. There we go. Okay, I'm going to put in a request for a song myself. And you, you're you not allowed to look anything up. I just need you to listen to this song when it pops up, okay? It's all I'm asking for. Let's get in here. Get the brown. All right, that's a lot better. I think we're going to have to overlap this helmet a little bit. It seems they had a lot of opacity when they were doing this artwork. Create a lot of bleed over with that brown coloration onto the yellow. Yeah, 
here we go. The stay of our lives. God damn it. Y'all aren't allowed to request songs I know. It causes me to sing, and because I sing, the song actually gets an impression on the recording, not in a deletable sound file. Then I get in trouble, because then they're like, oh god, you have the exact song playing. We can tell, because the Tardigrade is such a beautiful vocalist that it sounds exactly like the original singer. Then I get in trouble. Then I get executed. I get executed live on TV for stealing songs. Y'all wouldn't do that to me, would you? Wouldn't get a little baby boy executed live on TV, would you? Is that a backpack he's wearing? Shit. I cut into a backpack he's wearing. Just a little baby boy. Just a level one tardy grade singing along. Plays Josh Groban. Jesus. Listen, as long as it's not Disney, I'm probably safe, you know? Hey, Marcy, how you doing? How you been, Marcy? You keeping up with Dungeon Meshy, my guy? Also, what's Milk up to? He's still streaming? What do I owe the pleasure of you popping over to our side of things? There we go. Hey, Avelki! Milk just finished. Oh, shit. Is this like, um... Unofficial raid? How y'all doing? Or did Milk raid some- Wait, wait, I might feel really, really good. Did Milk raid somebody else and y'all decided to come hang out with me instead? Because if that's the truth, then I'm flattered and blushing and just oo-wooing over here like crazy. If it's just he ended and y'all decided to come over here, I still appreciate that. But, you know, much less hype. Oh, much less hype. Damn. You couldn't have lied to me at her ass. You couldn't have lied. Fucking earned yourself some brownie points. Made me blush and oo-woo. Move along, move along. This could be an unofficial raid if it makes you feel better. No, it would just feel that. It would feel better if y'all had been taken somewhere else and then chose to abandon a different streamer to come say hi to me, you know? There's something about the active choice of it that makes me feel makes me feel all special and warm and fuzzy. Let's see here. That should be enough space. Yep. Back that away from the edge. Get into the crevice. Ah, I'm just here because I like to join your streams. Well, thank you, Marcy. I do appreciate that. I appreciate the love and support you have for me. Uh, we just doing thumbnail artwork today. Not even of a game I'm playing. As soon as we finish this meme, I'm definitely just going to look someone up. I want to make, like, a real thumbnail that I can give to someone. There's something about just, like, out of the blue messaging someone and saying, Hey, here's a free thumbnail. That just absolutely tickles me. Tickles me to the color that I currently am. Vaguely pink. How are you? Why are you jumping over? Is the jump happening here? Okay, let's let's erase that and see. And you know what? I'm gonna just I'm also just draw a straight line right here. There should be no way for you to jump. Where the fuck are you jumping across this? What the fuck? Fuck you. It's nowhere near. Nowhere near now. Alright, there we go. That did it. Beautiful. And then you're... I think I just have to go in and erase. 
I think I just have to physically erase this one. It's so tight in. Oh shit, then we have to hit up the laser as well. I have to clean up this fucking laser. Oh, I'm not excited for this laser. Alright. We're looking good. Looking clean. Our buddy is cut out. Now we hit the laser. Alright. I think we might be able to just go up to the edge of the red. In fact, oh fuck. Oh, that's carrying all the way over to the hand. Damn. Yeah, that's horrible. Oof. Oof. <gasps> Alright, this is for you, Cosmic Exception. Did you feel better? I was considering watching Bricky. You know what, Avelki? That does make me feel better. And yeah, Sour requested we make a meme for uh, Raw Metal. As a heads up, I've never played or seen this game. We looked at some reference materials, and I'm going to take my best to make a meme with no understanding of how the game works at all. Except for the reference art. Let's reduce hardness here. Make that a little... Oh, that was too much, I think. But that should let us keep some of the opacity of the light right on the edge. There we go. Squidward spitting fire, absolutely. Alright, that's coming out okay. I don't think this is ever going to look great with me just doing some Photoshop work on it, but we'll see. You know what? Maybe if we up the size so I can just, ooh, follow it? Ooh, maybe that's the trick. We just do a rougher, larger size along that edge. Yeah, so we do a softer erase at a larger size. Okay. Get him, Squidward. Beautiful. All right. Clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere. All right, how we doing? That looks good. Gotta hit up this. All right, I think that's our three boys. We don't have a background yet, but that's fine. We now have all three of our boyos. So we've got you, you, and you. Best way to orient them. Okay, you need to shrink. We'll cut you in half about for now. See how that looks. A little too small, I think. Less than half, so we'll cut you down. Let's go 800. Oh, shit. With all this crap you've got over here. Get rid of this crap. What are you doing? What are you doing hiding this crap from me? Okay, you. We also need to shrink, though. Not a huge amount.
All right. So here's our triples. Unfortunately, with the way this is cutting off, uh, it's a top-down stealth game where shit and camera for combat. Okay. Yeah, we were looking at that. We were saying there's top-down and on-camera stuff and trying to figure out a way to mix them together. That seemed reasonable. Okay, turn song request down a little bit. So how to fit these together. Okay, first things first, we need to... I need I need a background. I need just a background to throw these bitches onto. Let's see, a raw metal game... Something that they can fill in without issue. If we have an empty space, that'll always be the best. So let's go to game, maybe background. Hmm. That's some gorgeous fucking artwork I'm seeing over here. All right, so I think I'm going to use this for reference. This might not end up being what we actually do. I want to show you what I'm seeing. This is some artwork that honestly looks fucking gorgeous. And with that, what I want to do, we're going to go ahead bucket, opacity, full. We'll just do a black bucket in the background. Ah, shit. Well, thank you. It revealed some shit to me. Let's so let's clean up that shit. Thank you for solid color black ground revealing to be my mistakes, my horrible, disgusting filth. Ah, jeez. All right, maybe what I could do. All right, so we do that. Invert the selection. Delete. Get rid of all of it. Hell yeah. Okay, so we'll just do that on. Oh, wait. Do we got in you? All right. Select. Invert. Delete. Oh, shit. Oops. Okay, then we could go ahead and hit this. Should be nice and clean. All that's good. You look like you're solid. Hell yeah, there we go. And for Terramon. Oh, hope you appreciate that, you horny bastard. All right, so we've got this. What else do we need to kind of capture this effect? Is this halo here. How to simulate that. All right, let's do some tests. Yeah? Okay. So we come here. We do If we do a really low hardness... On the oh, yellow went to the second color. Shit. No, that's the wrong yellow. Okay, there we go. How do I create that sort of spray paint effect? Is there a tool? There's not a spray paint tool, I don't think. So we'd have to go with the pet with the the paintbrush. So if I reduce hardness and force like down to one, what do we get? It's not great. That's not great. That's not exactly what I'm looking for. I have no clue what they're doing. You can't you can't ask me what's being played. I didn't control it, okay? That is not my fault. First we wanna rock, then we gotta roll. How do I capture that effect? How do I get that effect? Because what I want to do... Okay, just so y'all kind of see what I want to do. What I want to do... So we're going to do a select grow... Is 20 too much? 20 might be too much. But just so, just so you can see... Is essentially give all of them that like yellow outline, you know? That this has on its little character... Just to get them to all pop out of this black, you know? 
but I would really like it if it could look like this rough, like, smoky effect. But I don't know how to do that, you know? I don't know how to capture that sort of an effect. Okay, fuck it. Here's what we're going to do. First, we're just going to give them all real solid look. See just how that pops, you know? How that fucks. Okay, we're not going to put it on the laser, though. One second. We're, we're going to get to all of them. Listen, we're, we're going to get to all of them. Select, grow, 20, go. Ah! We're just going to see how it looks first. This isn't, like, final answer, obviously. But this is the, uh, this is the see how it looks. Understood? Ah! Wrong layer. One second. All right. Click on the background. Get rid of the lines. How does this pop? Does this fuck? Fucks a little bit. It definitely fucks a little bit. Hmm. Yeah. All right. So we can do this. Gonna undo it for now just because there's some choices we still have to make. We gotta move things around. It's gonna want its own layer for that outline to exist on so we're not, like, drawing on the background. Okay. Okay. We want you to the edge. And I think I'm going to rotate him slightly so that we have, you know, a straight line from here to the target. So we're going to go to this layer, rotate. Hopefully this isn't going to over fuzz it because any arbitrary rotation is always going to be... Ah! No, not that, not that area. Okay. Transform, arbitrary rotate. All right, still looks solid. Hell yeah. I want this dude rolling up on him. I want the pickaxe and screen, but if he's too tall, his fist is pointing at him instead of at this guy. Do I need to move them around, maybe? All right, here's what we're going to do. Going to do some flipping and shit. Some flip. What the fuck is this? Did you just invent this line out of thin air? What the fuck is this? No inventing lines out of nowhere. Okay. Layer. We're going to go ahead and flip this horizontally. Then we come to this boy. We're going to layer. Let's see here. Flip horizontally. Because I think him over here is going to be a lot easier for us to show as being targeting on this guy. Maybe we also want the pickaxe dude rotated. Okay, here's what we do. We throw you to the edge and then orient y'all like this. We move, move. Uh, the pickaxe guy's coloration just makes him zoop out a little worse. What can I do? What can I do to really capture this? Like, obviously, I could put him here. Layer, transform, flip horse. Ah! Wrong layer. This look like the three of them going for each other. Not precisely, does it? I 
It also doesn't give us a lot of room to work with a title and subtitle in the space. So what can we do? What can we do to better capture what I'm trying to get here? Okay, I think number one, I want to shrink this boy a little bit so he can just be fit on screen easier. Taking up slightly less space. Okay, if I orient you further away from him, then, okay, we'll, we'll have you flip back. Okay, transform, flip horizontal. So now you're not looking at the guy that's targeting you, and it looks more like you're looking this way. But I would want it more, what, here? Aw, oh, Marcy, then go to bed! Is the pickaxe... The guy with the pickaxe is the boss. The other two are the player characters. No, 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 you don't understand. This is... These are the three... These are the three of Elki. These are the three guys. And they're all going after each other. You see? That's, uh, that's what's happening here. That is my understanding from the game. Okay. How does this look? Let's go to the background. So... You clearly targeting you. You clearly targeting you. You not clearly targeting. Oh no, we have an ad roll. Aw, oh, shit. Shit. A Velky, no, wait, a Velky can't see. Can Marcy see? Oh man, them ads. Ads fucking sniping people. All right, we'll hold out for a minute then. I'll have a couple of handfuls of uh, caramel popcorn. Yo! Oh. There'll only be 20 more seconds of uh, Amhaxa. Hey, Marcy, how you doing? You running an ad blocker, my dude? I can't believe you. All right, while that's going, I'm going to just get, let's see here, Raw Metal Game, let's see here, we'll see if they have a title PNG I can just grab. Uh, no existing separated PNG, so I'll just grab it from the black and white image I liked, honestly. And there's select. We're going to do a select invert. Deli oh, oh, shit. Gonna make sure that everything on there is deleted. Then we can take this down. Ah, wrong screen. We can take that. Let's see your layer. Crop to content. Beautiful. Then we want this ah nice and big. Let's do layer scale. I'm at least gonna double it. So we're gonna double that and raw metal nice and big. Honestly, raw metal fucking stacked up top left corner. How's this look if we pop it down here? So we go raw metal. And what what do we feel for a subtitle? We still got some work we want to do here, especially with the highlighting. Could you start that point again? What point of Elki? I'm sorry. Did you did you come in and uh just had a weird moment of the sentence? I, I stopped doing some editing because we saw you got killed by the ad, so I was just bringing up the uh, raw metal title brush to use. <clears throat> what is the meme here? Is the, uh... Ooh, ooh. Your mid-sentence in the ad started? Do you remember what sentence it was? 
It was probably me just trying to figure out how to capture the right energy for all of them. But essentially, Avelki, I don't know how this game works. I don't want to know. We're making a shit post, essentially. I'm making a thumbnail based off of not knowing at all how the game works. So the thumbnail isn't going to make sense. It's going to be... It's going to be basically wrong in some way. It's going to be a useless thumbnail. Listen, I didn't make the laser. That's just the way the laser showed up, Marcy. That's that's just what their official artwork does. God, what do I want? What do I want? So, like, some ideas just off the cusp is, you know, like, how to win the standoff um, is one idea. Like, with this, we're obviously getting a vibe of, like, there's rock, paper, scissors in the game. Uh, so that'd be what? Win every trade? Uh, ooh, another fun one is this kind of gives me the, wait, which of you is the real one? So wait. Uh. What is that? Were they switched? Were they switched? Or, God, I'm trying to, I'm trying to dig in deep to my, my, like, clickbait thumbnail ideas and god what is it oh fuck spider-man pointing yeah that was that was one of our inspiration memes to create this that is true but i'm trying to think what's the right subtitle for our image here are you the bad guy it's close. It's very close. It's definitely the vibe I'm going for, but I want it more ambiguous, right? I I want someone who has no clue what this game is, like me, to look at this and think all three of these people are equal options, essentially, you know? Like, uh... Ooh. Maybe something like, what was the true ending... The real vil- the true villain, the- 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 the true... The real choice, the correct choice... Ooh, wait, 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 wait! Oh, I know! I think I know! I know! What? Am I with okay? Well, I'm sorry. I'm not used to Baron New. I, I think I got this for a different uh fucking thumbnail I was working on. I downloaded the font. Uh, but here it is. Uh all right. That's I think this is the right vibe, right? Which one should you kill? And we're not gonna clarify which one you are, you know. All right. All right. So first things first, we gotta we gotta bold this up. Maybe we could find a way to shrink down this wordage a bit, because obviously we want this. Like if this only goes across the bottom of the screen, that'll work. Raw metal. Which one should you kill? I don't think that's quite the right yellow as well. One second. One sec. I think this might be the wrong yellow. Yeah, slightly off. Adjusted. Yeah, that looks... That looks better. Okay. Which one should you kill? Who to kill? Wait, maybe who to kill is better. That's a lot shorter. And that'll let us uh, boost this even more. So we can go up to, like, what? 162? Ooh, shit. Yeah, that's... That looks better. Nice and clickbaity. Precisely. So raw metal. Who to kill? Alright. So we see the spacing we want. We see what we're doing. So we can move you... Right here. Use you almost as a bit of an underline as well.
All right, there we go. There we go. I'm going to reduce this down a little bit. Increase the size so we can do single stroke, essentially. So here's select, grow. Okay. So we're going to need a new layer for this. Ah! Whereas here goes right above the background. Oh shit, I'm getting a little bleed. Can we bucket instead, or will that also bleed over? That'll bleed? Why am I getting this bleed effect? Alright, we'll we'll do the we'll do the pen then and just avoid those areas. Yeesh. Alright, if we do it this way. Can get a little bit of that roughness now, yeah? Select grow, okay, click on this layer. Um why is this showing up? Oh, I see. I see what's happening there. Uh, I want that yellow primarily over that, so here's what we do. We go to you, and we'll do an erase. We'll do an erase on that. There we go. So that'll pop that over. Gorgeous. Then we come finally to you. Select grow. Ah, wrong layer. Not quite. It feels like there's too much. There's not. There's there's too much black space. I think. Um. Okay. Okay. We have to undo all the yellow. I think. Uh, I need to blow this one up. I need this one bigger. I think is number one. We need this dude taking up even more space. So let's try to take up significantly more space here. Okay, that's good. And we can arbitrary rotate him down a little bit. Okay. Lower him. That target. Good. That's good. All right. I think that takes out quite a bit of the, the, the black space for us, right? Nice. That's too accurate, actually. You can actually make it to the end without killing anyone but the boss. I love when this accidentally happens, because this does seem to accidentally happen quite a bit. And with him being bigger, maybe we blow up. Alright, here's what we do, I think. We shove you all the way into the corner. We make you even bigger. Not too big. We only have so much room to work here. Gotta go here, and then we also have to do something a little cringe. We'll see if it'll work. There's a good chance this won't actually work. If it works, hooray. If not, understandable. Okay, not super clean here, obviously, so I think all we'll need to do, okay, nice and small, grab that, I'm going to put this down to, yeah, about 30 opacity,
hit this a few times at a low opacity. Alright, that seems to have hit it a little bit. That works. Okay, laser beam now goes all the way. We'll make sure to merge those together. Perfect. So now we have you further in the corner, targeting him. You're taking up more space. You're over here. I want the crowbar on screen no matter what. Well, like the, the pickaxe. So we can do that here. We could take it all the way to the edge like that. All right. I think this will work. I think this will work. Okay. And then what we do, we need that new layer that just exists somewhere right above the background. Okay. So we go to there. Select, grow, okay. Come to this. I'm going to down all of these and up this immensely. We'll up these because we want... Oh, my opacity was down is what's happening there. And I think what we'll do is we'll just try to hit the arms, shoulders, and head like that. We'll leave all of the torsos unclaimed, essentially, and see if that gives us a good or bad vibe. Let's see how this looks. I'm already not super in love with the vibe of the of the yellow outline. It doesn't seem perfect, right? There's there's something not quite working about the yellow. It's not horrible. It's just not perfect, you know? What do y'all think? How does this look? Would you click on this? <laughs> Seems fine to me. All right. Well, we can we can hold this vibe. We can hold the vibe. Well, raw metal. We'll pop this up a little bit. Looks good. Fuck yeah. All right. Well, if it looks good, then sour. Congrats. We have our meme. Let's hear file export as raw metal underscore meme. All right. One second. I'm going to pop into the Discord real quick and in artwork. Uh, let's see here. Did that export to the right place? Or did I not even pay attention where I was exporting? Where is R? Hey, it did. Hell yeah. Let's see here. The secret ending? How does it look? Beautiful. I think it's nailed it. I think that's absolutely gorgeous on the Discord. Alright, fuck yeah, y'all. That is thumbnail one down. That is the meme out the way. I've got to piss. When I come back, what we'll do is we'll actually look at trying to do a serious thumbnail. For this one, though, I want to essentially make a free gift thumbnail for someone. If any of y'all follow any small streamers, particularly ones who are live right now, would be awesome. Do not have to be, though. 
that don't have any like thumbnails at all on their own YouTube channel or anything like that, go ahead and uh, send me the name. I will go check them out. And then we will make a decision on someone to essentially try to craft and send a free thumbnail to. I'm gonna piss. I'll be back. And let's go do some fucking free work, y'all. Yeah. All right, I'm back. I'm vibing. We vibing. To catch y'all up on what we're doing, basically this whole week I ended up making a bunch of thumbnails, some of which were memes, a couple of which were gifts to someone called Alex, who is a Beatle VTuber. But Eric is the only small streamer I follow that puts vods on their YouTube. I am an enigma. I am insanity. All right. Since it sounds like we don't got uh, much in the way of suggestions and oh shot, I'm going to go ahead, pop on over, and for anybody who wants to hop in with me, to the uh, VTuber tag on Twitch. We're going to sort this in reverse order by views. And we are going to see if anybody sticks out to us. What we are going to start hunting down is a small VTuber who has a YouTube channel and a Twitter. We need both of these objects. The reason we need these is, A, we need somewhere for them to use their thumbnails we're going to send them. So they'll need a YouTube channel that is at least the archives of their streams. And B, we need a Twitter for a way to reasonably reach out to the person. And because VTubers will always have references to their model on their Twitter. So it'll be the best place for us to grab quick references to their model for us to craft without doing pre-communication with that person. So let's do a pan through, see what we see in. Lethal Company, Minecraft, 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 RimWorld, Overwatch. What should I be looking for? Just someone with like an adorable model, someone doing a game. Um, look for something particularly like cartoony. Obviously, it's better if it's a game I ain't done before. Let's see here. Banani, El Caso, and Llama. Oh, are you a llama? No. Oh, God. Who? What song is this? Which one of you fuckers requested this? I'm about to lose my shit. What is this cringe? There's a lot of Spanish people streaming right now. Or at least people with Spanish titles. El Crazo. No, what? What is that? Um, fuck, what's the crazy chicken? Um, Loco. El Pollo Loco. Eh? What is this? Uh, fucking let ek let leet ek leet ek Tokyo. God damn it, V. You son of a bitch. You're always the one with a shit. Happy. Happy 420. Fallout 76. An unfortunate game choice. I was like, we're gonna pop. I gotta pop into a few of these people. I gotta listen. We're gonna listen and get the vibe, you know. So I'm going into someone called the Shinamani. Shinam Cinnamoni, Cinnamoni. All right, let's look at your about. Do you have what I'm looking for? Do you have? Oh God. Do they do the little kid voice? Hold up. Speak again. Okay, that was a that was a redeem, so that might not be the real voice. Okay. 
Okay, I'm not seeing anything that would link me over to a YouTube. Oh, no, there we go, YouTube. It's your videos, what do we got? Nothing with a thumbnail, so we can work with this. But what do we got? It's not looking super consistent. Nah, I think we can do this one. They don't have a consistent YouTube, essentially. We'll keep searching. We'll keep searching. Plus, I was afraid they were going to be the, the little kid voice stuff. And, um, I'm sorry, y'all. I ain't giving free shit to people doing the little kid voice. I have fun just shotgunning anything <laughs> into the song request. You know what? Fair enough. That's that's the big fair right there. All right, keep scrolling, keep looking. I don't like the kid voice either. It it scares and concerns me most of the time when that is when that is someone's chosen uh vocal direction. Okay, keep looking, keep looking. Now that is an interesting model, actually. Hold up. All right, sell me. Okasan Aoi? All right. Mucho gusto. Damn it, it's Spanish again. And I'm also seeing no YouTube link. Oh well. No YouTube link is the bigger the bigger problem here. Is it cringe? Is it awesome? Until it plays? Who knows? Oh, you don't even look at the fucking song before? God damn it, V. You absolute asshat. She content on my warning? All right, we got someone who's memeing their titles. You can work with that. Buttery bees. I don't know how I feel about that, but... Here, what's your about? Okay, we got a YouTube and your about. Not seeing any Twitter here, but that's still... Not a lot on your YouTube. Yeah, no, nah, not a lot we can work with here. This is going to be rough, y'all. This is going to be rough if I got to go one by one. Are we sure ain't none of you got someone that, that you watch that's smaller? I understand if no, but God damn it. This is going to take me back. I really just assumed every single person who's VTubing had an archive YouTube and a Twitter with all of their artwork on it. Am I insane? Am I... Am I backwards ass crazy for making that assumption that didn't seem like the greatest investment into the thing right or am i am i dumb we're in for the long run that's true my youtube account has existed for over a decade i can't remember everything that i've hit the like button for that's i i got it okay you're going through your likes so you have listened to them at least once in your life and are suggesting them it's just you haven't listened to them recently. Understandable. Small, yes. YouTube, no. <laughs> not common at all. Consistent, absolutely not. Am I putting in more effort than I think I am? All right, dog girl. Fuck, it's in Russian. I'm sorry, I needed to be English because I need to be able to explain to them that I'm not trying to steal their artwork. I just wanted to make something for them. God damn, a lot of Spanish. A lot of Spanish, a little bit of Russian, not as much English as I was expecting. You're at least very, you're much more consistent. Well, I'm glad I can at least provide that to all of y'all. 
All right. Oh, we can filter by English. Hell yeah. All right. Filter it by English. Sorry, y'all. I, I have no problem with dominant Spanish or Russian speakers. I just do not feel confident in my ability to explain that I am trying to give you something for free. That is that is on me, and I apologize. Oh, what is that? Store that in the back of my mind. Let's keep moving. Guess you have to play the game then. Hmm. Oh wait. Goth? Is this a goth dog girl? Hold up. Speak. I is Wolfy Sinister, God Slaying Puppy. All right, we got a Fenrir wannabe. That's solid. Head on over to YouTube. What do we got? Okay, we got we got a string here. We've got a string. Anything recent? Let's see. We have some Elden Ring gameplay. An Elden Ring series wouldn't be bad. I'd like to do something a little more new though. Subnautica Below Zero. Let's see, do we have anything that would be like a series that I could make for? Ooh, Halo. Part one. Destiny two. I know nothing about Destiny. That could be interesting. Hmm. Shoot. Nothing easily labeled as a parts one through yada yada for me, unfortunately. Ugh, God. They're all so close. They're all so close, but nobody nobody has what I'm looking for. I'm just looking for a small VTuber who streams, uploads to YouTube, and uploads in a fashion that can be easily interpreted as a full playthrough of a game in order. Maybe I'm asking too much. Edging? I'm sorry, Marcy. I'm sorry. <sighs> Dommy mommy. Yeah, no links to a YouTube. Lord, I I feel I feel like a mess. I feel like I thought I literally came into this and was like, if nobody has suggestions, I just need to do a real quick, you know, five, ten minute search through a couple of different people, and I'll easily find someone who hits all of these descriptors. And apparently I am stupid. Apparently I am a fool. I am the dumbest tardy grade, is what I am learning. I am learning a I'm dumb, and B, I put too much effort in sometimes. All right, what do we got? We got, wait, 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 Mass Effect, Vampire. All right, hold up, hold up. You've got some custom artwork here. Okay, okay. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We've got custom artwork on this page. That that, that seems like you're, you're, you've got some level of commitment. Let's see here. We'll go to your About. Got a link to a YouTube. Hold up, hold up. Uh, ooh, oh shit, oh shit. I think we got one. I think we got a live one. I think we can hook one. Okay, let me go back to your channel because I'm trying to see either you made these thumbnails yourself real roughshod style or these are just captures from the stream. Do you have an on-screen chat? If you don't have an on-screen chat, these are just captures from the stream. These are just captures from the stream. All right, we've got our target, y'all. Rain Yoruka. All right, Rain Yoruka. I need to go back to your about. Do you have a Twitter that I can grab artwork from? We have a Twitter. All right, Twitter, media. 
Do you have clean versions of your model on a single colored black background? All right, not a single colored background, but we've got the next best thing. Oh shit, I think we got it. I think we've got one. I think we've got one, y'all. All right, one second. All right, let's hear. Uh, let's see, we gotta add alpha. Delete, cool. And what do we got? A, all right, that showed up pretty clean, pretty solid. There's like all this crap over here that we're gonna have to get rid of. But once that's out, we're on a solid black background. Ah, no, wait, I didn't mean to do it that way. Wait, oh shit, new layer. Oh, that, that's OD. All right, layer, we're gonna scale this down. First things first, second thing, second. What am I listening to? <laughs> Alright. Let's take out all the stuff we don't need. I apologize if you end up watching this VOD. I did not mean to say, like, this This is crap. It's just for my purposes. It is in the way! I love your artwork, by the way. I'm loving the, the absolute vibe here. I'm also just a slut when it comes to fucking eye makeup. I don't know why. I don't know what. Like, I'm not a fan of almost any other type of makeup, personally. Eye makeup, though, fucks. I don't... I have no logic, no explanation, no core of reason I can provide to any of you why, for me, eye makeup fucks, but it does. See here, come on, threshold, come on, let me just, oh, I don't know if we're going to be able to get a clean, god, are they going to make me pixel by pixel this? Oh. I'm going to have to pixel erase this, aren't I? Alright, 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 that's fine, that's fine, it's fine. We could survive, we could survive this. God fucking damn it. Why? Why does everybody blend their backgrounds into the model's edges? Look at that. You can see they, they made use of black. Uh, they, they made use of black and opaque edges here. So not only is there already black coloration that's mixing with the, the, the background's black, but there's opacity that's in here as well, meaning that it is literally bleeding over the edges onto the model. That's fine. That's fine. We can we can work around this. It's plankton. That's what it is. That's why I'm hearing this voice and going, "What's this weird robot?" But it's an AI plankton, isn't it? AI plankton singing uh what black parade? Ah. Don't do that. There we go. Note to all of you, if you become a VTuber and you want some random crazy person online to make you free content, make sure your model is easily extracted from its background. Hey, Eric, that sounds like a thing an insane person would do. <laughs> True. There we go. All right, take that. Take that, you stupid black edging. There we go. Edging! We're edging! Yeah, you can see when you scroll it, you see like this kind of greenish color? I don't think that's actually any green. What's happening is we're getting an opacity shortcut, essentially, where to give the right coloration vibe, they're using some green to give an off-black feel to some elements. So they seem like they're showing something that's behind it, even though there's technically nothing behind it. And that is what will absolutely fuck the magic wand, trying to capture a clean color grab before doing an erase, essentially. Crazy. I was crazy once. Then they put me in a room. A rubber room. A rubber room with rats. And the rats made me crazy. Crazy. I was crazy once. Okay, we'll just straight line that, go down to the edge, create some spare room, and hopefully we can magic grab without, ah, without it bleeding over now. 
Okay, can we please just just no? You son of a bitch! Oh, that's horrific. There we go. Gotta go to sleep as well. Good night. Ah, oh, good night, Terramon. Good night, Marcel. I'm sorry y'all couldn't hang out for the full art stream, but I hope you enjoyed what parts you could catch. Alright, so that should back it up. Back it up. Back it up now, y'all. Oh, I didn't separate. So maybe that. Maybe just that line right there will let us do this. Alright, that looks like it. Cool. Alright, we're good. Up to there. Uh, do I want to do in here for now? Nah, we'll we'll do the outer edges, then we'll come back and do the 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 little pieces later. Put my money where my mouth is, yeah. Okay, then we'll have to go and pick the game we want to make the thumbnail for. If anybody wants to join along and Eric goes mad and makes something free, please go ahead and check out this person's YouTube and take a look at what their most recent game series are. And let me know what some good suggestions from their own list might be. Can we grab? Hell yeah. Okay, we're clean down to there. Let's get up into the hair. This is gonna have to get small. I think we're gonna go in the middle on the hair just because we're gonna have to go micro-sized anyway to get a lot of these corners. We might as well do the pixel erasing while we're here. And this isn't gonna be an outline and delete. This is gonna we're just going we're gonna go in here, essentially. We we do these. We hold these. Let's up the hardness a little bit while we're in here at this size. So we're not leaving a ton of opaque squares behind. There we go. Going into the match of Hunt Showdown, got a mute stream so I can hear all right, Avelki. Have a good hunt, kill all the enemies, and do not get killed by the monsters. I know how games work. I get in here, take out some more of those dark squares. Looks gorgeous, beautiful. Hell yeah. All right, get into this one. We will go. God, I can't wait to go through this and then send this off to somebody and for them to be reasonably freaked out at someone doing this, not trust me at all, and tell me, hey, uh, could you fuck off? <laughs> I'm, I'm so sure that's gonna happen at least once if I actually just start doing this. Is this a Tome? Is this, uh, or an auto, auto, auto Tome? I don't know. I don't remember what these are called. The little st saxophone shaped things. You press buttons. Mm -hmm. In somewhere close, do you find where I belong? Me back home. Me up, wake me up inside. Wake me up and save me. Sorry, I won't do that anymore. Boop 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 boop. All right, how we doing? How we looking? Just a couple more. Take out those dark edges, you know, you know, those frayed edges. Damn, girl, you need to take better care of your hair. Look at all these split ends. Beautiful. God damn. 
I chose poorly. This person has so much hair shit I gotta work around. But we've we're, we've chosen them. They have all the features we need. I just gotta I just gotta buckle down and deal with it. Please, please, please let them appreciate this. God, don't, don't, don't be concerned by me after this. I'm sorry if you're watching this back, please. I just want to fuck around with, with making shit. And it seems like it'd be better to do it for, for people, you know? So I just want to make something free for someone. This is literally my first time encountering your channel. pre-recorded eric chose this person months ago he's just been wanting to do his stalking publicly god damn it i can't believe you couldn't see shoving in the car but you were there in front of me i've been running a thousand years it seems now to open my eyes to everything yeah i was in high school when this song came out sue me as the perfect like high schooler cringe edgy song it hit me at the worst possible time. I guess I could have been in middle school. No, it could have been worse. I could have been in middle school when this was popping off. Maybe it wasn't even that it came out when I was in high school. Maybe it was just popping off when I was in high school. And was this song always popping off in high school, though? Maybe that's what it is. Too light. do that create a little bit of space and we'll see if we can just grab with the magic oh not quite come on oh wait can we is that gonna give me yeah that's gonna do bad edge no it's not gonna do horrible edge work down here yeah it is it's a little bit unfortunate so if i just want to go ahead and erase this we'll take the eraser boost its size ah bad you but oh god is this the it doesn't start thing <sighs> how did milk get y'all obsessed with moo moo meadows for him what did he have to do what do you have to do to just only deal with moo moo meadows and not coconut mall is it just that I hate Coconut Mall? Is that it? Is it just an opportunity for torture? Do I have to start... Pl but if I go along with the meme, that won't change shit. Y'all keep doing it. There is no escape. My life is now Coconut Mall. Or is it I don't hate Coconut Mall and I've just been playing this up to get y'all to keep doing it so that you don't discover the song I really hate? Ah, no, I hit the ear. Trimmed the ear when I was trying to cut back the hair. Oh, shit, just a little off the top, sir. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, wait, is this going off the, the top of the canvas? I don't think I can hit the top from here. One second. Yeah, this is going way off the top of the canvas. Shit. And that should be enough back to just grab and go. Yep, we can grab and go. There we are. No, stop. I'm clicking the eraser, please. There we are. Hell yeah. Wait, what's up with this hair? Why is that black? Is that a black strand or the strand is lifted? Do I just kill that strand, actually? I think I just kill that strand of hair. That's just going to cause problems. Yeah, we're just going to go down to the black beneath it. We don't need this one wild strand. 
God, I'm gonna do this and then get a message from this person like, that strand's very important to my character. It's a part of their lore why that one strand sticks out. That is the vampiric parasite and how it represents itself. Ah, oh, shit. If we're doing this metal shit, can I take a, make a request from someone? Can we get the uh, metal version of Caramel Dancing? I'd appreciate that. At this point, that's the vibe I'm feeling. Okay, that looks pretty clean. We'll do this down to the shoulder. Then we'll go back and hit all those spaces in the hair. So we'll go to here. And I think we'll just we'll just outer edge this. Then we'll go to one pixel size in and amongst the hairs, essentially. Hey, hello there, Queen Spucky. Oh shit! I know you. I know exactly who you are. How you doing? How is your weekend going, Queen? Having a good time? Have you figured out all of your... Uh, have you had a chance to really play around with that green screen stuff you were talking about? Or did you not actually end up ordering that? Let's see her do that. We can go in, hit up that. All right. Looking good. So it's time to get in and amongst those hairs at a one pixel size. Oh, girl. I love your hair. I love your hair. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. I fucking hate working around it. God. It's pixel perfect bullshit let's just make them bald let's just take all of their hair off i think that'll be the good shit oh you son of a bitch all right mate. all right <clears throat> unfortunately queen spooky someone has redeemed something on your behalf v has gifted something to you and because of that queen spooky i'm afraid i have to say um uh, da, da. And officially welcome. I apologize. My chat is weird. They refuse to let anybody say words without me making noises at them. Can we... I think we could take out that strand of hair as well. There's, You can see there's pink in here, but I think it's like one opaque strand. So I think we can cut it entirely without having any problems. Sorry for the unwanted haircut, vampire lady, but that is just how we roll here. Roughshod. Gorgeous. Cool, cool, cool. Let's get in here. Erase, erase. Is there a queen speaker? Oh, that's money I don't have yet. I'm going to play the virtual green screen. Ah, that's fair enough. Fair enough. Chaos culture is best culture. <laughs> I know I have somehow curated this audience. I accept that this is entirely my fault. I will still criticize and berate them for being weird. There are no amounts of free forgiveness here. No hall passes. Let's see. We must purge the weak. No! People who don't want to be out of out of that are not the weak. God damn it. And hey, Just Water, thank you for the two years, 11 months, and 23 days, my guy. One week. Next week, you're at three years. Holy fucking shit. That'll be perfect. That'll be perfect timing when I get to do some Frostpunk. I don't know. Have I ever... I've never played Frostpunk on uh, stream for any of y'all. For anybody who's looking for a really interesting city builder style game, highly recommend Frostpunk. We're waiting for Frostpunk 2 to come out. Mm, April is Frostpunk. Manor Lord is next week, actually. I had those two mixed up for a second. But Frostpunk is a very exciting one. It is a very... It's interesting because most city builder styles are very much the, uh, you know, build forever sort of game. Frostpunk is has a very specific quest line system that you go through. That is very cool and exciting and builds a really interesting world to fuck around in. There we go. 
Those who cannot survive on the Ara Ara do not deserve to remain. I hate you. I hate you. You're you're what scares everyone. Love Frostpunk. Same. I gotta ask. Very first time, Just Water, before you knew what you were doing, did you send the kids to work or send the kids to school? I am, in every management game I play, a science-obsessed nerd. So any opportunity to produce more science, I always go for. It had nothing to do with kids didn't shouldn't have to work. It was, nope, the kids shall be enslaved in the science factories. They shall work their fingers to the bone. Whether it is production or research, I simply choose research. There we go. We're looking good. Making a lot of progress through this hair. Got to get up. Got to get up and in here. Wait, no, that pinkness. We have to leave a line here or else that hair doesn't make sense anymore. Yeah, we have to leave some opaque lines. They don't even look pink properly, but we got to leave them or else that hair logic doesn't make sense. Maybe I'll re-hit it with a little extra pink just so it pops a little better. Yeah, here we go. Let's let's hit that with a, just a smidge of pink. Eh, no, that looks horrible. Uh, lower the opacity, I think. Yeah, we'll do that. Lower the opacity, hit it with a little pink. A little better. Or uh, we won't do much more repair work than that. We just got to hit it with the basics. We're almost free of the hair. We're almost free of the hair. Everything else should be a lot simpler once we're out of this person's hair. We just got to get out of their hair. That's all I'm saying. Yo, Eric, Death Must Die just got a huge update. Oh, shit. What, what are we looking at? That officially... I knew they'd been working on one, but that officially came out. What are we seeing? New enemies? Do we finally have more than just the Baron to work with? Did new achievements come out? Wait, did they ruin my perfect on the game? Did they add new achievements? I gotta know. I gotta know if they added new achievements, Water. New area, new characters, new systems? Explain yourself. What do you mean new systems? What are the systems we looking at, yo? Alright, looking good. Grab this chunk, delete it. Here we are. Erased, erased. We are clean and good to go. All right, what are we looking at image-wise? We still have the armpits we'll need to get into the mix of. Then everything else, I think, is outer edges. If we're going to skip the armpits for now, then let's boost ourselves up to, I think, even eight should work. We'll run with six for a minute. And if we feel like we can run six pretty safely, then we'll swap to eight. Yeah, six is flowing smooth. We'll bump it up to an eight size then. <gasps> Waluigi! It goes in the night. This is bad. This is bad that I was so ready for this. Oh, God. Alright, there should be enough room for us to go ahead and... Yeah, it is! And erased. Beautiful. Ooh, wait, that isn't a hard dress edge, is it? This is a rosary, I think. So we've got to tighten that up. Do we want to go pixel perfect on that? Do we want... Yeah, that's going to look weird if we don't go a lot more pixel perfect on it. God damn it, girl. I love the rosary. It's beautiful and cute, and I love the vibe it gives. Holy shit is this hard to go around, though. God damn it, you're making it so hard for me to edit your artwork. How dare you be that inconsiderate of me. 
There we are. A lot better. We still need to hit up a couple of these. All right, that looks good. So we could go back to eight. Son of a bitch. Follow the dress edge. Okay, then we can go down. Create the space, and we should be able to click and delete, I think, at this point. Then we got to hit the, I guess, the in-between legs and the armpits, and we should be good. Gorgeous. We'll start here. And none of you will make any comments about where we're working. And even if any of you make a comment, you will be timed out for at least one minute. There we go. Now we're going to the pits. The That threat remains. The threat remains here as well. All right, we're very close. We almost have step one of our process done. Oh shit, is it add time? Yo, new playable character, shit. What are we looking at for a new playable character? What? What is it? Y'all can't tease me with this death must die shit while I'm doing artwork. I am memeing right now and y'all are teasing. Archer. Oh, I imagine probably similar vibe to the mage, right? Maybe something between the mage and... And the uh, dagger? That's going to be my guess, is they exist in a space in between the mage and the dagger. Hell yeah. All right. We've got our cutout of this person. Beautiful. Amazing. Gorgeous. Nailed it. Now we've got Rain. What do we got for series? I'm seeing one, two, three, four parts in Dishonored. I'm seeing two parts in Mass Effect Legendary Edition. I've never done a Dishonored one. That could be good. I'm seeing Near Automata and 13 parts in the Assassin's Creed Syndicate series. All right, chat. I need opinions. So we're going to do either Assassin's Creed Syndicate or Dishonored. Assassin's Creed Syndicate or Dishonored. I want to do Dishonored is, is the vibe I'm getting, you know? That's, that's very much my interest. Oh shit, wait, does this girl have like a lot of dresses? Wait, did I fuck up in just going for the first full model I saw? Gonna scroll through the media, see if there's a, another clean option with one of her other dresses. If there's not another clean option, then we have no problems is the best we were ever going to do without reaching out beforehand. Yeah, we look. Looks fine. Looks like we're fine. Yep, this dress should be fine. Plus, it kind of fits the vibe. We are going to do Dishonored. Okay. What do we got? What do we got for our artwork? Now, Dishonored is a game series I played through, so we're not going to be going from blank. But let's go ahead, grab some of the artwork and see what our default vibe is and what we're going to build from there. Hmm. Obviously, I think we want uh, more of an in-the-action shot than just the general, like, artwork, you know, that exists for it. It's the ma It's the mage's brother, literally? God called it. Oh, also they changed up the attacks. So the characters feel more different, supposedly. Understandable. What's this for? Hey, Just Water. To, to catch you up, today we were just doing a bunch of thumbnail artwork. The first thing we did was a bit of a uh, meme work, if you want to see it, where someone just gave me a game they like, and I had to make a uh, clickbait thumbnail without knowing anything about the game, except what could be gleamed from the game's official artwork. 
This is our raw metal uh, clickbait thumbnail here. Uh, for our second thumbnail, what we're doing is we're making essentially a free thumbnail for someone. We just basically scrolled through the VTuber tag on Twitch till we found someone who had a YouTube channel without any official thumbnail work. We are picking one of their playthrough series and we are making a thumbnail for them. I'll then go on Twitter, message them, letting them know what we did, show them the artwork, get their permission to post it, and send them a full series of the thumbnail if they would like to use it for their own uh, YouTube channel. Ah, thank you. Who put in the request for me? I bet it was V. And because of that, I'm going to be presumptuous and say, V, thank you for getting me the song. I appreciate that. Mm. But I want something with a bit more. I mean, it's not going to be this exactly. But I want something more with this vibe. More of the in the action vibe. Let's cut this in half. Holy shit. What, 1420, I think? Yeah, so something more so with this vibe where we can put their picture, you know, into it, into the action a little bit, more so than just on a background, I think would be better for, like, how much energy their model just default has. Obviously, we also need to be able to put them into a vertical space. We, we can't do a lot with their model. Like, we can try to pop their head onto something, but I think we want as much of their model as possible with how much vampiric character it has. There's only so much you could do. There is also the option of just taking the eyes and putting them on a character, because I feel like that could work. Hmm. Ooh, okay. That is an option, but that's technically from Dishonored 2. So we'll try to pull back from that. So we'll just do Dishonored uh, artwork. I'm, I know the vibe I'm looking for. I just need to scroll through. Okay, Dishonored 1 artwork. So this is Caramel Dancing, but done in a metal style. If you're wondering, it'd be, you know, it's it's generally a lot more of a of an anime style is what it's done in, is probably what's, what's fucking with you a bit. And dance to the beat, and leave your hands forever. Come feel the heat forever and forever. Listen and learn. God, what? <sighs> that would be good. It would be good, but I don't think I'm skilled enough to get rid of the character in it. Hmm. What am I hearing right now? Oh, God. Is this some sort of Palpatine meme? Oh, my God. Is it like a do it song where it's just do it from a bunch of different sources? You son of a bitch. Yep, yep, I should have known. Let's see, maybe I can just find some city's background artwork. Do 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 All right, let's do artwork background. I f I'm getting close. I'm getting closer to what I want.
All right, so I think I've found something that's got the vibe I want. I don't know if I'd be able to do the edit work for it, though. So here is, I think, the perfect vibe. Or you can do this, then place in the Dishonored title, like, right across the bottom. Obvious problem here is getting rid of Broski is not easy. We could try for some smudge work. It is like a smoky, foggy background, so it's something we can get some working on, but I'm having dinner at the Troop House, though, so I can't stay long. Hey! How you doing, Frost? I'm sorry you never got the notification. We just doing memeing and artwork right now. Just make her bigger. That is an option. Problem is we might lose some quality here. We'll, we'll, we'll test this out. We'll boost this a tiny bit. All right. This could work. This could work. We do still need to smudge. Well, let's see here. Let's see. Okay, tools. We're going to go to paint tools, smudge. Ah! Not on you. Okay. Let's get some of that light in there. Do, 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 do. Now, what could be good is actually to get a bit of a smoky effect. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Now that I'm looking at this, that isn't coming out the cleanest and it could just be me being weird looking at it and it might be like it would never be the cleanest but plus we have the water oh we can't smudge the water can we boop pop boop 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 pop boop pop all right Let's zoom out. That looks fine. Okay. We gotta figure out where we can and can't get away with this. We'll do the maximum that looks good, I think. Yeah, water's definitely too detailed, but I realize this isn't him. This is these prongs, so we're fine to leave those. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking now. Here's what I'm thinking we can do, though. So we smudge his black outwards. And we create, essentially, what I'm going for is shadow halo. Let me, let me try to see if I can get this. You see kind of the, the vibe I'm going for there? And we'll just, if we take that out beyond the hair. Ah! Don't rotate to a new fucking picture place. I take you out can I all right so now we're gonna take this here's what we're gonna do winner takes all 
It's the thrill of one more kill. So if we transform, no, yep, swap horizontal. Only attack. All right, stop that. All right, then we can do that here. And if we merge down, that should let us start smudging it out from here. Paint tool smudge. I should be able to kill that. And we keep smudge. And what this does, it lets us delete the character but in a seemingly intentional way. Hey, all right, all right. Now, not complete, obviously. More we need to do, but what does the dark, how does the dark halo look? I feel like that's, that is giving us a very intentional vibe while also deleting the character at the same time, you know? Especially with that little light because of how the, the halo works. Doesn't look bad? Now V, is that a doesn't look bad? Or is that a doesn't look bad? I'm, I'm wondering. Kind of looks like a dark queen collar. I don't know what that means. I'm sorry, I don't know what that means. Okay, layer that we need to do what a arbitrary rotation for 90 degrees. Rotate. Then we bring this up to your head and we merge down. And then from here, because we can see all of this, we should be able to pull this off without seeing her. We will bring her up to as a good reference to make sure we're at the right height. Ooh, we need to go up much higher. In fact, you know what? We're just going to move it. Right there. Well, we'll do it here so we can get that light effect still. So we merge down. Tools. Let's see your paint tools. Smudge. Put an example on Discord. All right, all right, one sec. Oh, oh, that Discord, okay. Wait, on Discord, wait, 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 which Discord, Lotus? Oh, wait, was it not? That was Crank and Lever that said it. Got it, got it. Sorry, I think Lotus was in here earlier and I confused the two of you. I'm terribly sorry. I'm terribly embarrassed that that happened. All right, let me bring you in. I understand if you cannot forgive me for this. Okay, we just gotta keep smudging up and out, smudging up and out. You talking shit? Always, Lotus. Always. Ceaselessly. 
ceaseless discharge of shit. <laughs> Real Dark Souls energy out here. Okay. I'm gonna put in all this effort to make this smudge look good, then look at it at the end and decide it still doesn't look great, you know? Still. We'll get it. We'll get this shadow fucking halo and see what happens. Let's see. We'll keep this going. I'm growing more and more concerned that no matter what I do, it's just not going to look great, though. We might have to try something entirely new. Dun 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 Okay, we'll see if we can get the right again blend here. Come on, you're so close. There we go. Uh. Nah, it looks like crap. Nah, it looks bad, doesn't it? I thought maybe there was something to be done with that, but I don't know, chat. What do you what do y'all think? I feel like I feel like it's just not hitting. It's not hitting, you yeah. know. It was looking good at one point. I don't know. Right? When it was just here, it seemed to look fine. I don't know. Ah! Stop that. Now, I could blow her up even more, but that doesn't... I don't think that's that's the right play. Okay, let's... White space is easy. Let's smudge in the white space at least. See how much room that buys us. Can make it so she's wielding her as a dagger. Okay, right, yeah, we'll 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 take a look at that. God damn it, crank! Every time, every time with crank. Okay, we can use the white space. This, this right here is always going to be a problem, I think. That's what we do. Maybe we just try to rely a lot on the white. That glorious, uh, all-consuming brightness. All right, glorious, all-consuming brightness. Honestly, maybe that's the, maybe that's the trick. Maybe that's the play. All right, that blended a little bit better. That blended, I think, a little bit cleaner. Huh. 
how we she do not she do not stick in well here so maybe what we're gonna do actually now is try to hit this with a filter try to give it a little bit more of that oily look i was talking about oil painting ah too much does that help you blend You definitely stick in a little better. I think the problem I'm hitting is the gray in the hair. I think that oil painting effect is helping. I want to opaque. So we're going to go with a good 50%, see how it looks, and we might increase or decrease depending. Can I select just the gray? Okay, that'll be a little bit. We'll hit it with a 50%. Then back up and see how this looks. 50% definitely too strong. So let's take this down to a 15. I think 15 worked a little bit better. So let's hit a lot of this gray zone with that 15% opacity to let it try to blend into the background a little better. Let's shrink this a little bit. Maybe that wasn't it. All right. I think the oil effect was good. I think that did help it blend in a little bit. I do think there's something going on with this gray that is not working with the background. Maybe I could do a hue correction a little bit, maybe up the contrast. Let's, let's fuck around with color just a tiny bit. Here, where is contrast? Ah! All right, that was hilarious, though. Wait, I wanted to... <laughs> All right, I do love it. I do love that. That's a little... Okay, I don't think it's there. Maybe I need to do something about... The gray. That is hilarious right there. Done playing for now. Aw, oh, how'd it go? Did you do good hunting? Hmm. Can I do... Okay, let's go to color balance. Um... If I raise the red, hold up. Okay, if we raise the red, that pinks up that gray a little bit. I 
And I think that pulls it out of the background a smidge. Now that it's pulled a little bit out of the background, maybe that's just what I need. Maybe that's all I need to do. Maybe I need to hit all of that gray with just the thinnest level of uh, pink. Hold up. So let's get this. Copy this pink. Reduce that even down to a 10%. up a lot of this gray which is that 10 percent at that pink level because it won't show up in the already pink it'll pull that gray out a little bit more i think one more honestly i think we could do a large size just hit all the area with one more 10 percent pink and i think that pulls it right out of the background Hell yeah. I even want to hit it one more time. Okay, I think that's doing it. There, we leave it a little bit so it still has the shadow effect to it, like that darkness effect. But I think, yes, okay. Thoughts. I think that did it. I think that, that made the gray pop out of the gray of the clouds a lot better. And I think we did that without doing too much uh, nastiness to a person's original artwork. All right, Dishonored one, we need title PNG. Now walk you down, now walk you down. All right, so here we go. Ah, that's not a PNG asshole. Who posted that as fucking PNG? All right. So your layer, the new layer. Ugh, it's kind of fuzzy even at this size. That's horrible. So if we go layer, I need a scale layer. I would need this, what, what, 14, 20 at least for width? Yeah, look at that. That's so fuzzy. All right, you know, what? we'll leave it on for now. I just want just to get the scaling, you know? Let's just get a good idea of what kind of a scale we're looking for. Pump that to 1820. And see if it hits the right vibe, even without the fuzz. I do think that's the right vibe. Now, what font is this? Is this a specific font? Dishonored one font. Or do we have a font? What is the font for the Dishonored game? Hell yeah. Trajan or Van Helsing? I think I have Trajan. Hold up. I might already have Trajan downloaded. If I do, we might be in... We're in the money. I got Trajan Pro. Okay, we're gonna go, what, 182? Definitely not an exact match. Uh, ah! Let's bold it first, and we might even increase its size. Yeah, we don't want to bold. We just want size increase. We want that sharpness to it if we want it to match. Thing is, do we need this to go up to double digits? One sec. I need to go check their channel. They only just started. They got up to four. I do like to keep myself enough space to go up to double digits. So let's take this to 10 for now. We can shrink it a little bit. Let's go with just 202. I think on the right is just going to read better. OK, 
Can I scoot you without revealing Boyle behind? Got a little bit of Boyle behind. All right, one second. Where is our smudge tool? Can we just... Just some micro smudge, you know? Okay, so that gives us a bit of space. Then we're going to duplicate this and we're going to create a nice steel drop down shadow and see how that looks. Where is duplicate layer? Okay, we'll I'll give you the nice, nice steel. Maybe a little darker right about there. Ah! Wrong layer. There we go. Probably have to darken that up even more. Yeah, definitely need to bring that closer to black. Don't want exactly black. How does that look? That looks okay. Hmm. So the left spot on the neck is still a little weird, but I think it's nice. Hell yeah. Gotcha. Is there an embossing effect on the program? I don't know what embossing is. Maybe. One. There we go. What's the meme for this one? This is not a meme one. This is an honest one we are making for someone. Okay, now let's bring these back. Because we have the space now and we know it. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Now we just need a Dishonored title that won't look like shit. Okay, I think I'm liking the vibe. Uh, before, I'm, I'm going to start looking around a bit more. Let's see here. Dishonored one title PNG. I would love it if we could get one of the ones that has the blood effect on it. Open image in new tab, maybe? Uh, not seeing it. How do I get this? How do I get a clean, large version? I feel like I can get probably really good versions of the black title. One second. I just feel like with the vampire image we're already working with. Yeah, like right here. You see, this is already close enough in scale that growing it just a smidge that'd be 18 scale and you see fucking is clean and not fuzzy but i like the one with the blood effect plus i like it being the light coloration because the dark coloration is just not going to show up great here Wait, wait, wait. We might have... I might have something. Hold up. Hold up. Okay. Wait, wait. It's got something that might look clean. We'll see. This might be an absolute trash option. I'm ready for that, but... Hey, and it's too big, which means we can shrink it. Now, shrinking still can cause some fuzziness, but nowhere near the same level. 
Here's scale layer. We're looking for what? 18 hunt. Hey, Norton, fuck off. I know. I know. Now fuck off. Fuck. Hey, there we go. Blood's clean. Fucking sharp edges on this one. To be fair, I might have... I think we can shrink it even less. All right, layer, scale layer. So that was 18. Let's go 19. Hey, that's perfect. All right. We can delete this layer. And we actually need to do a little bit of trimming. As you can see, we have a little bit of the, the Bethesda watermark down here. We're already throwing their title on, so we don't want actual watermark here. Because we're covering that essentially ourselves. Crop to selection should take that up. Beautiful. We'll also crop this up to selection. All right. And we can have image fit to layers. Shit. Image crop to content. There we go. All right, um, what do we want? I kind of want to move the part to the right. I know that's going to fuck us up if we go to, like, double digit, though, but... All right, here's what we do. We're going to shrink it a little bit. We'll shrink it, what, another 10 font size? 192. Okay. Okay. All right, I think. Okay, now we just got to see if there's any detailing work we want to do here. First vibe that I commonly want to check. We're going to go ahead, select her. We're going to add a layer. New layer that's just going to sit right above our, our background. And we're just gonna, I just wanna, I always wanna check this, select, grow, give them a nice big, eh, not quite that big. So we're gonna do select, grow, instead of 20, we're gonna go to 10, grow. And we're gonna get ourselves a nice 5%-ish. Let's swap this to black. Nice big size. And we'll just see if we can get a good subtle shadow pop on our character from the background. Now we're going to make this even bigger, pump this up to a 10%. Okay, get rid of the outline. Do she pop a bit? Not truly. So instead of that, we're going to pick this pink color that we've been using. I'm going to take this up to a 15. Okay, that shows up aggressively on the water, not aggressively in the sky. So this is probably going to look trash. Yeah, so it looks trashy kind of down by the water. Okay, definitely don't want that halo effect. So last one we're going to go for, we're going to go back to the black. Pump that below 15, about 12. And see how that do so control z uh 
I don't think it's aggressively noticeable, but that generally means it's good. If you don't notice it, but you can get a little bit of a popping outline, I think that's generally a good thing. Okay, uh, I also want to hit this up. The title here, we're going to hit up with a bit of a color pop. Let's go ahead and saturate this just a little bit more. I want that red. Eh, it won't be that. Um, I want to get the red of the blood just absolutely spiking off, essentially. So your color balance, can we up that red? It's going to start affecting the gray, unfortunately. So instead, we will boost the... Ah! We'll boost the red a tiny bit. Not that much. I think we'll go up to a plus 7. Plus 10 looks good. Then we'll go for contrast, I think. We'll go ahead and boost our contrast. Yeah, it does have a little bit of an effect. It's a little better, but it's not having anything major. Still, I think that's pretty solid. All right, chat. What do y'all think? Let's go ahead and grab the background so our outline's moved off of it. What do y'all think of our little thumbnail edit? Hello and welcome to the process I go through every time I make a thumbnail. This is quite obviously on our scale, living in one of my comfort zones on the more corporate iterative look. Obviously nothing would be like reactive here. We would be iterating pretty good. We would just be doing this solid change the number twice over here so that the number in the shadow match, but then allows for a very easy series to pump through. I think that could end up being very solid looks good looks good hell yeah any suggestions any last minute changes any of y'all think anything y'all are feeling a bit inspired by just by looking at this this is our last opportunity remember i will be reaching out to this person on twitter and offering them you know a series of like one through ten or what they would want like numbered of this to use on their youtube channel for free if they would like so I just want to make sure we're making the right fucking impression whenever I send that message out. If there's anything here, any of y'all like, hey, dumbass, how did you not notice this? I would appreciate that at this moment before anything else happens. But if not, then let's go ahead. There, there's their YouTube. Are they still... Streaming? They do not appear to be streaming. Yep, they ended, uh... Oh, they ended, like, just now, I think. Got it. Let's see what we got their Twitter. We've got their Twitter, their YouTube, everything. Hell yeah. Then we are solid, y'all. Well, then. If there's no last-minute changes, nothing else, I want to thank y'all for coming and hanging out with me today as I just did a little bit of memeing and a little bit of artwork. I hope y'all enjoyed seeing the process of, like, thumbnail production. I know it's not, like, the most in-depth sort of artwork that, that things can go through, but I do hope I did kind of reflect and show off uh, a little bit of the process... I hope y'all had fun with that. I guess we could call it, what, 15 minutes early or so? I'm not getting in a whole nother thumbnail in that time, so I think that was a a productive use of stream. Next stream you're doing, whether it ends up being midweek or at some other day, I will be popping back into Dragon's Dogma. Don't worry, that game is not done. I've just been feeling inspired. Also, as a heads up, I know Manor Lords is gonna be releasing pretty soon. And that is a game I have been very much looking forward to. So we might be starting into that pretty hard at some point. If anybody's been feeling super invested in the Dragon's Dogma 2 playthrough, I apologize. That's likely gonna eat up a lot of that time, but I do hope you all understand why that might happen. 
But, 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 for now, I want to wish you all a good evening, a good weekend, a good night, and a good start of your next week, y'all. Hope to see you all again just as soon as possible. So with that, let's send y'all off to a hey, Mimi's Live. Absolutely gorgeous. All right. Here's our raid target. Here is our raid message. And keep your eyes on Twitter. I'll be messaging our vampire friend, though, with these uh, thumbnails asking if they would at all be interested in them. And I will let you all know how that whole process goes. But, 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 for now, just remember, I love you all. And grab your raid message, because we will be heading off in five, four, three, two.